Hey everyone, uh, this is, oh, I'm going to say Zach Attack News Live because it's Tuesday, but I decided I was going to do a chill Q&A night. Uh, if people come in, you can ask me questions, ask me about anything, and while we're doing that, I'm going to just show off my video game collection. Um, I think at 800 subscribers, I showed off a Funko Pops. I think before that, I showed off my physical media, so I feel like, you know, showing you guys some of the things I own and that I cherish and love. I think that's always so fun. I'm going to start from like as far back as I can in terms of old games and then also, um, you know, show you what I have from recent stuff. It's everywhere right now. Didn't realize I had so much stuff here, but this is going to be a chill night. I think people are going to be popping in and out um, in terms of in the live stream and also coming in to talk and chat and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let me see. Let me see what's going on. But if you have any questions for me, say something. Three years on YouTube, baby. Three years on YouTube, 900 subscribers. I really feel like my last year, the second half last year was a big year for me in terms of improving, connecting with a lot of people, and uh, just starting to bring, build this community. Those first, I guess, one and a half years was like a lot of testing and getting better and figuring things out and like just reflecting back. I understand why I weren't I wasn't getting subs. Um, <laughs> thinking about the qu the audio quality, the visual quality, the review quality, the editing quality. I think I'm a much better editor now. I think I'm better at my reviews. I'm really proud of my last couple of reviews that I've done. Um, let me go on my YouTube. This is like a celebration. Do, 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 do. Let's see. So, yeah, like I'm really proud of my Roadhouse review, my uh, Immaculate review, my Ghostbusters review. Really proud of the um, the problem that James Gunn DCU faces video. I'm excited to do more films like um, films, more um, videos like that. Um, coming soon. I, have, I think I'm going to be doing a Marvel one soon. Attacking Zach is always fun to do. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to improve the live streams, improve my, um, trailer reactions. Um, uh, so those can be great. Collective Movie Man, thank you so much for congratulating me on hitting 900 subs. I appreciate you, man. You are one of the best of those 900. Appreciate you. Ravens, uh, Raven O's fan 89. Hope you have a great stream. I'll definitely check out the replay. Seated for Winnie the Pooh too. Oh, look. Winnie the Pooh 2, as we're talking, let me see if it still has it. Let me let me, let me check before I, I say blasphemous things. Uh, where's the Rotten Tomatoes for Winnie the Pooh 2? Right now, Winnie the Pooh 2 is at 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 77% uh, for the audience. Insane. Who would have thought? <laughs> hey, Collective Movie Man. Um, let's see. So let's start showing off the games while you guys come in. So I'm going to start way back. This is going to be one of the first Segas. <laughs> so <laughs> for you youngins out there, you're like, what the hell is that? But one of the first Maddens. <laughs> John Madden's Football 92. Yes. That used to be the full name for the game. John Madden Football and the year. Not just Madden, but it said John Madden Football. And big, too. I think it might still say John Madden, but I think the John Madden part is small. And it just put Madden and then the year. But, yeah, this is one of the first games I've ever owned. I'm still not sure what oh, Sega Genesis this is for my Sega Genesis. John Madden 92. <laughs> Crazy. Shows you how old I was. Are you joking? Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, the second movie is 100% in Rotten Tomatoes. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's going to go down, though. It's uh, 100%, but it's only a few reviews. It's not like a bunch of reviews. But there's, a, there's over 100 audience reviews, and it's at 77%. So it's much better uh, a rating than the uh, first one. Because I think it's 3% uh, Rotten Tomato score for... Um, for it and uh, for the audience, and I think this the no not the audience for the critics, and I think for the audience is like the first one is like uh, let me see it's pretty low. Let me see where is that Rotten Tomatoes? No, I don't. Want... 
Bloody Honey 2. I want uh, Bloody Honey 1. The first one, Rotten Tomatoes. Here we go. Yeah, 3% um, tomato. We have 50% audience. So, yeah. Didn't do too great <laughs> for the first one. But it was made for $500,000. And then uh, the movie made like $3 million. So it made a profit. So we're getting more. They put some more money into this one. And uh, yeah, that's why we're getting another one. <laughs> and now we're going to be getting a whole universe of these films. Um, this one is just real plain. This is how, this is how plain these games used to be back in the day. Just say pro wrestling. <laughs> no cover art, no nothing, just pro wrestling. This is a mega cartridge. This is like a real old system. I think it was the Mega, the mega Saturn or something like that. When Sega still used to make uh, game systems before they tapped out. Um, also, <laughs> Hang On slash Safari Hunt. I think this was the one with the dog and he had the gun you had to shoot it. No, actually, I think that's Nintendo. I'm not sure. Like, some of these games are so old, I don't even remember playing them. Some of these are gifted from my brother. Um, I have Astro Warrior. I remember playing this uh, when I was younger. <laughs> Oh man, good times, good times, good times, good times. And if you enjoyed the live stream, let me know how you feel. In uh, if there's any particular news you wanted me to talk about, I know that I'm not doing like a regular Zach Attack news live, but there wasn't anything that I thought was super pressing for you to break down. Zach, what is your favorite video game of all time? Let me see if it's ready available for you to sh for me to show you right now, because I was going to show it. Let's we'll see if I have it right here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. should have it right here. This is all the games. Yep, yep, yep. Should be right. Yep, here's it is. My favorite video game of all time. I guess I'll show this right now. Is Horizon Zero Dawn for the PS4. Love, love, love this game. It, um, I bl blew my mind the first time I played this game. Uh, it has like everything I would want. Very complicated deep story that is relevant to today, but also still futuristic in the future, but it's like a desolate place. Uh, I love Aloy as a character. I just gravitate towards strong female leads. I don't know why. Giant dinosaur robots. Awesome. You know, and I just love the story. I love the mechanics. I've never played a game like this before. I know a lot of people are divisive on this one, but I love this one. And I love the sequel too. But yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn. That's a really early showing of the PS4 ones. Awesome choice. Horizon was really good. Ah, I'm glad that you liked it. Hey, Brandon Davis, what's up, man? How are you doing? Thank you for being one of the 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 900 and I think I'm at 905 right now. Yeah, 905 subscribers. Appreciate you. Uh, what else did I got here that's old? Oh, okay. Here's the cases for the games, I think. Hang on Safari, but there's something else in here that's not Hang on Safari. I don't know what the heck this is. Maybe this, is this a bootleg game? No, this is Sega. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> this was inside. This was inside, but I have no idea what it is. But this is the Hang On Safari case that the game is supposed to be. In. Now I know I'll put it in here. I have no idea what that game is marked up. We had to do some wild stuff back in the day, man. Hey, it's Kenny Sparks, beloved friend of the channel. Uh, one of the dopest YouTubers. I just want to congratulate you for hitting on to 1,400 subs and moving. I know you're going to get to like 1,500. You're going to be 2,000 soon. Also getting 20K uh, views and buff, and you're about to become monetized, the first level of monetization. And the way things are going, you might get the second level of monetization off that one video, man. It's hitting. It's well-deserved. And uh, like I said to you in private, this latter half of my YouTube journey in terms of like these three years, you've made it really worth it. Uh, so I appreciate you. So he said, challenge. You hit 900 scrubs, like scrubs, subscribers like a boss. Name your top nine superhero fight scenes. Um, Kenny, I need a little bit more clarification. Are you talking about uh, nine superhero fight scenes just in live action film or just period? Give me a little bit more clarification and I got you. I got you in the challenge. While, while, while I get that uh, clarification, if he wants live action or period, I'll let you know. Uh, this, I guess this is the Astro Warrior case, but there's something else in here. Why what did, what did I do this? Oh, in here is a different game. Um, uh, dinosaurs 
for hire for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> a raw case. Uh, but that's awesome. I remember playing that game when I was young. Oh, in movies and TV. In movies and TV. Ooh. Live action. Okay. My favorite video game is Kingdom Hearts 2 and The Last of Us Part 1, The Last of Us 2. I've never played any of the Kingdom Hearts films, so I can't count on, I can't comment on that, but I heard they're amazing. Well, that's technically a lie. I technically played Kingdom Hearts 2 or 1, like the last boss fight. I went over to a friend's house. He loves it. He was playing it, and I was like, oh, let me play. I didn't know he was finishing the game. He gave me the controller, and it was like the final boss. I was getting my butt whooped. I love Last of Us Part 1 and 2. Those are in my top 10 favorite video games of all time. Uh, but in terms of your question, um, dang, I'm trying to think of the best best uh, superhero fight scene. So one off the top of my head is going to be, he said live action. Oh, no, he said live action. In movies and TV. So Winter Soldier versus Captain America and Captain America Winter Soldier definitely won. Uh, the Civil War fight at the airport. Uh, oh, man. Do I want to do Civil War twice? Yeah, Civil War, the, air, the airport fight. So hold on. Uh, Winter Soldier uh, versus... Cap, no, team Winter Soldier versus Team Cat at the bridge scene in Winter Soldier. Uh, the airport fight uh, in uh, Civil War. Doc Ock versus Spider-Man in Spider-Man 2. Nine, right? Um, best superhero fights. Let me see if I if I'm missing anything. Live action. I'm trying to think of a. Is there any TV shows I'm missing? Oh, Arrow. Damn, Arrow versus. I'm trying to think because Arrow has some amazing fights. Um. Oh yeah, Batman versus Superman and Batman versus Superman. Uh, do, 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 do. uh um man of steel uh superman versus zod definitely up there in terms of best fights uh let's see what else not wonder Woman. oh yeah infinity war uh the uh iron man team versus uh thanos what amazing fight So that's, I think it's seven. I'm trying to think else, what else is there. Got to refresh my memory so I don't miss anything. Uh, hey, uh, I'll take the 1990s Ninja Turtles. The Turtles versus Shredder. Why not? Um, Frank Castle versus... Hmm, Daredevil versus Frank Castle. So that's eight or not. That's actually nine now. Oh, that's nine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's more stuff, but that's the nine I can think off the top of my head. There's so many amazing fight scenes. Oh, how could I not do Nightcrawler versus the Secret Service? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, there's so many great ones, but some of the ones I talked about was like some of the most impactful ones. Oh, X-Men versus Hellfire Club, or just even X-Men's First Class with the whole ending with the missiles. That whole sequence was amazing. Yeah, so that's just highlighting some of them. My favorite video game is Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, that was Collectible Man. Uh, Kingdom Hearts was that shit. Boy, was I cold at making gummy ships. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Well, I, I wasn't a big Final Fantasy fan, and I'm not really a big Disney head, so it never really uh, gravitated towards me. So that's why I didn't really jump onto the Kingdom Hearts fandom. What's the hardest boss battle you've experienced in a video game? Um, who uh the hardest one that I ever experienced that made me emotionally and physically exhausted was this game called, and it's one of my favorite games of all time. It's called Hellblade uh Senua Sacrifice, the final boss there. I think I was doing that mission for like an hour straight before I gave up. <laughs> it was insane. I was doing it for like an hour straight. It was insane. Tom Holland getting his ass beat by Green Goblin is one for me. Oh, yeah. That was so good. One of the best fights in the MCU. 
Hey, Zach, I have a question. What did you think of the trailers for House of Dragons that just got posted this weekend and the Beetlejuice trailer and the Penguin TV show trailer? So, just to let you know, I actually haven't seen any of those trailers. <laughs> I haven't seen the Beetlejuice trailer because I was thinking about reacting to them and then I just didn't get a chance because I was doing the reviews of the Immaculate. I did um, Roadhouse. I did um, Ghostbusters. And I just didn't have it in me to also do all those trailers that came out. So I actually haven't seen them. I'm, now I can actually just watch them and enjoy them without thinking about reacting to them. But I haven't watched them yet. I'm going to check them out. The hardest one for me was Shao Kahn and MK2. Yeah, some of those fighting games, like there was a Tekken 3 fighting one that was really hard for me. I love that game. The final boss killed me. Um... Another classic game that I own is uh, Sega Genesis Sonic 2. Love this game. Love Sonic. Dude, the final boss of Spider-Man 2 was so annoying. The Gears games have hard bosses. Yeah, Gears does have hard bosses. I remember playing those games with my friend Jonathan at his house. My favorite games ever was, these are all PS3, Wet, Alice, Madness Returns, Resident Evil 4. Oh, I remember Wet. Wow, you just unlocked part of my brain. That I forgot was there. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 4 is one of my top favorite games of all time, Brandon. I love that game so much. I need to get the, the remake. Uh, I never heard of Al. Is, is, is the game Wet what I'm thinking about? Because I, I know there was a game called Wet. But Alice Madness Returns I never heard of. Oh, Sal and Boo and all the DBZ Z games. Yeah. Yeah, they could be hard. Especially when they made them regenerate stuff for no reason. Okay, so I did... All those old ass games. Let's move on to the Nintendo 64, one of my favorite video game systems of all time. This is one of my favorite games of all time Kirby Crystal Shard 64. Love, love, love this game. Big Kirby fan. Uh, another classic is WWF No Mercy. If you are a wrestling fan, this is one of the greatest wrestling games of all time. Love, love, love this game. Uh, another classic game Pokemon Snap. Who would have thought this stupid idea was just an amazing game? Loved it. Another Pokemon game that I really, really loved was uh, Pokemon Stadium. This was my jam. This made me feel like I was a trainer. And it had a multiplayer. A game that I played for hours with my god brother. For hours. When I mean hours, I mean like we started at 8 a.m., 8 p.m. And we were still playing uh, to like 5 a.m. in the morning. And our parents woke up like, were you guys up this whole time? And we turned around with our bloodshot eyes and lied to them and said, no, we weren't up. We went to sleep and then got back up and played it. No, we were playing Rampage the whole time. Good, great, great memories from this game. Uh, Donkey Kong uh, 64. I didn't have Mario Kart, so this was my Mario Kart. Love this game. Donkey Kong Racing. Um, and then another great wrestling game, but doesn't get talked about as much, is WCW NWO Revenge. Whoo, Goldberg and Sting in this bad boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's Hulk Hogan on here. And every time I see Hulk Hogan, I have to say F Hulk Hogan. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. Love this game. Improved on everything. I love the gold on here. I love this one. I'm a big NBA fan, if you guys didn't know. So I have, uh, what is this? Kobe Bryant NBA courtside. <laughs> this is before 2K and live and all that stuff. N64, man. Another one of my favorite games is Metal Gear Solid 3. Cannot wait for the remake for PS5. It's supposedly coming out this year. I The only Metal Gear Solid game I've played is Metal Gear Solid uh, 4. No, not I'm lying. Not 4. Uh, 5. Phantom, Phantom something something another. Uh, I love that game. I never finished it, but I really, really loved it. I enjoyed it. But I will definitely play the remake of three because I hear three is I hear good things about three all the time. Dude, Pokemon Snap and both stadium games are so good. The new Pokemon Snap is fun. I need to get that for the Switch. Thank you for reminding me that. Also, Day of Reckoning. Yes, that's coming up, my friend. Day of Reckoning is coming up. Oh man, so underrated. And uh, Raw, Raw and Raw 2 on the Xbox, underrated. Underrated uh, wrestling games. Uh, I talked about, oh, Donkey Kong, I did that. Rampage, another great game that I love. I wish that they would make again. For some reason, Nintendo won't. It's F-Zero X. 
Love this racing game. There's so many copycats. I need Nintendo just to make a new one and put it on the Switch. I would buy it immediately. Um, another one was I never. I don't think I've ever seen it again. It was Extreme G XG2. I love this game. This and F Zero X. I played constantly on my N64. Um, it was just so much fun. It was multiplayer. You could play couch co op. Uh, I I really really wish they would remake that. Uh, and then also Metal Gear Solid 2, one of the hardest bosses for the second boss, and I did not know you had to unplug your controller and plug it into the second slot to be able to beat the boss. Yeah, I've heard about that so many times. That's so cool. I love when they do innovative stuff like that. It can be frustrating, but it's really, really cool. Speaking of a uh, classic, 007 GoldenEye, classic game. Love this game. Played it for hours, just like Rampage. Me and my godbrother would play this like insane amount of times. Ooh, Kenny Sparks with a challenge. Name nine fighting game characters you like to use. Okay, I like to use Gohan um, in uh, Gohan, Adult Gohan in Dragon Ball Z Budokai Takashi 3. I like to use Deku in the My Hero fighting game. I like to use Tanjiro in the Demon Slayer fighting game. Uh, I like to use, uh, what's her name? Oh, let me look this stuff up so I'm not saying the wrong, the wrong thing. Street Fighter. Characters. Man, on the spot, you know what I mean? Just catching me on the spot. Uh, I used to like to use Blanca in Street Fighter. Um, Tekken, I think it was just the main... No, 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 it wasn't the main character. What was the Tekken characters? What's the main guy I liked to use in Tekken? Oh my god, it was like the one black guy that I used to use Capoeira. What's his name? Well, I used to like martial law a lot, but what is the Capoeira dude? What is his name? I feel like I should know what his name is. For whatever reason, it's not popping up. Is it the wrong franchise? It's not the wrong franchise, it's definitely in Tekken. Was it Leroy Smith? That sounds wrong. Not remembering his name, but it was a copywriter dude. Oh, Eddie Gordo! Hey, Eddie Gordo! Thank you, <laughs> Eddie Gordo. That was my guy. Um, what else? Is there any fighting games that I'm forgetting off the top of my head that I loved? Um, I didn't really play Mortal Kombat. Let's see, fight uh, Smash Brothers. I played a lot. Uh, Toon Link is my favorite character to use. Um. Fighting games, Super Smash Brothers, Tekken Three. I talked about. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Damn, I don't play enough fighting games. That's probably why I can't even think of <laughs> of characters. Uh, I guess I'll just fill it in with uh, Dragon Ball Z characters: <laughs> Goku, Vegeta, uh, Brawly. Um. There's a Super Smash Brother character I really like. Leroy Smith is crazy. It is. <laughs> uh, let's see what you guys are saying. So, what are your top five gaming moments that made you cry? Oh, okay. Um, so the Walking Dead, the Telltale's game, Walking Dead, when Lee dies, tears, tears, tears. Um. The Last of Us Part One, where uh, Sarah—that's what um, Joel's daughter name is, Sarah. When she dies, killed me. It killed me uh, in the in the game. It killed me in the remake of the game. It killed me. It it kind of killed me in the show. Uh, Last of Us Part Two, I cried a bunch in that. Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of. Moments that made me cry in video games. I have all these video games here. Oh, uh, one of my favorite video games all the time is The Last Guardian. Um, the ending of that game made me cry when I realized what was going on. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Now I'm thinking about I don't think there's a lot of video games that just makes me cry. I think I cry more with uh, movies than I do video games. But, um, oh, Spider-Man 2? No, not Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 1, the PS4 one, 
the Aunt May scene? Oh! 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 Tears! Tears, tears, tears. Jesus, tears. Um, I think that's five. I think I said five. <laughs> they were supposed to do a remake for PlayStation 5 of GoldenEye, but I don't know what ever happened. I haven't heard anything in a long time. I love GoldenEye game. It's probably licensing problems. Man, I want to play the My Hero Fighting game. It's so good. The first one was so good. I haven't played the second one yet, but I'm pretty sure it's good. Hey, the laser, your boy is here, man. What's up? Happy three years, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Microsoft has the rights to Rare now, so I don't know if it will ever happen to get another one because this used to be a Nintendo IP. Yeah, I think they share it. So that's interesting. What's your what? What is one of your favorite RPG games? Mine is Final Fantasy X, Kingdom Hearts, uh, two, and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, RPGs! RPGs is not really my jam. Um, I don't I haven't played or finished a lot of like traditional RPGs. So I would have to say Evolution World on the GameCube, which I'm probably going to show. And I'm trying to think what other RPGs I've played. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I have any other RPGs, man. I don't really play RPGs for whatever reason. It's not really my jam. I'm not really into Xbox consoles more than PlayStation. The Bad Boys for a trailer slaps harder than Will Smith at the Oscars. Oh, God. <laughs> I cried when Dom died in Gears 2. Okay. What should I eat first? Butter... Buttery premium popcorn or Mike and Ike's? Uh, I think you should get the butter in your stomach first. If you could buy any Pokemon, if you could be any Pokemon, who would you be? A ditto. So I can turn into any other Pokemon I want to. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't show this. This is an old-ass game. Popeye for the, what is this? The NES? The OG. The OG OG. Popeye the Sailor Man, man. Just love that show when I was a kid. Okay. What where, what year are we going into? We just did all those games. I guess we'll go to PlayStation 2. I have PlayStation 1 games. Oh, they're right here. PlayStation 1 now. Uh, one of my favorite Spider-Man games. Uh, Spider-Man on the PlayStation. The final, one of the final bosses in this was really hard. I gotta read this one from uh uh, Kenny Spark, mod chat, so I can beat these masks up. <laughs> Thank you, Laser. So this is for the chat. Uh, if you could turn into a, a Pokemon for a day, which Pokemon would you be? For the chat. Everybody in the chat, answer that. Um, it's funny, I just said no RPGs, but Final Fantasy IX um, was my shit on PlayStation 2. Uh, this game was four disc, and let me tell you, I only got to the second disc. <laughs> It was just really hard. RPGs, I like this one, but RPGs is not really my jam. But yeah, Final Fantasy IX was great. He said, damn, Popeye. They talk about remaking that into a movie. I can see John Cena. Yeah, we were just talking about that on Zack Attack News Live last week about John Cena being Popeye. Uh, Charizard, that's a good choice. I don't know. I haven't watched Pokemon in eight years, but I guess Pikachu because I have power. Nice. You will be able to uh, make sure you have power at all times. You're living electricity. One of my favorite franchises and one of my favorite games, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. This shit was so hard. <laughs> well, love this, love this, love this. Used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! so much. Still dibble dabble in Yu-Gi-Oh! these days, but this was my jam. Um, One of the greatest characters of all time that has getting a lot of respect, Mega Man. This is Mega Man 8. This was my jam back in the day, PlayStation 2. I love that. I love this era where they were trying to copy off of CDs because CDs were so popular. So they made them look like CD discs. Smart. My sister has a PS5. I, well, me and your sister have something in common because I do too. That giant black thing over there, whoa, uh, is a PS5. I would either be Moltres or Arbok. Really? Arbok? <laughs> Why Arbok? I remember that game. I remember playing that game at my friend's house when I was younger. Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Nice collective movie, man. Do you remember that game called Fester's Quest? That was a hard game. They only gave you two blocks of energy. 
Um, no, let me look it up real quick. Fester's Quest. Why I changed Fester's the desserts? Fester's Quest. Okay, this was on what? It was on the NES and arcades. Okay. Oh, is this Fester from uh, Adam's Family? Whoa, hold on a minute. Because <laughs> he, he is funny and, and well, it looks kind of silly. Uh, okay. <laughs> you just want to have fun. Another great franchise that I love in the anime for, but underrated game is Digimon Rumble. I, Rumble Arena, I used to play this so much. I think this is better than Digi Pokemon Stadium. I love this game. I, damn, this, this, I, I beat the crap out of this, 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 this thing. <laughs> all broken up uh actually hold up where's the actual game oh no, again. Come on. no. i wonder if i could buy this again i don't know where the disc is hopefully it's inside my playstation 2 um uh, yeah digimon rumble was so good so so good uh wheel of fortune so i just gave me this i didn't have they didn't, it was like second hand and an iron man exo man of war I didn't even know who Exo Man of War was back then. <laughs> I didn't even know about Valiant Comics, and they did a crossover with Marvel in a video game. What? We would never get anything like this right now. <laughs> this is so cool to have as just like history. The fact that Valiant and uh, Iron Man, I mean Marvel, made a video game on the PlayStation 2, and it, that's so cool. That was before uh, MCU and all that. Fester's Adam's Town, yeah. I got the Lego Movie 2 game and Grand Theft Auto, but I'm not old enough to play that. Wait, what? It looks like... Oh, I'm back. Okay. The Music Creator game. Um, I used to love doing this because I wanted to be a producer. So I would just uh, make beats on this. This is, came from MTV. Let me actually put this stuff down here. They don't crumble over and cause a mess. Uh, let's see what the questions say. Weird question. Rank these characters in order who you least trust to cook a Thanksgiving meal. Bruce Wayne, Tony Stark, Shang-Chi, Arthur, Arthur Curry, and Star-Lord. Who at least trust? Okay, in order. So, so the least trust to the most trust? So the least trust out of these that I trust is Tony Stark. <laughs> Because he ain't cooking. He don't, I don't think he's ever cooked anything in his life. Um, And then after that, it probably would be... All the reasons I'm going to do Arthur Curry, because he probably puts a wild stuff in my food. As we see. <laughs> and I don't want him doing that. And I don't really eat seafood. So he's not going to make anything I'm going to really like. It, well, actually, wait. Does he eat seafood? I don't think he eats seafood, right? Because he's friends with fish. Eh, I might be able to trust him. Uh, and then after Arthur Curry, because he's just a wild boy. Well, actually, I'm thinking about Jason Momoa. The comic book Arthur Curry is actually pretty chill and way more serious than uh, than Jason Momoa's version. So I would say uh, Tony Stark, uh, Star Lord, because he's just he's also like just a goofball and might just be wilding out with the cooking and and also he probably not gonna have no seasonings, no proper seasonings anyway. He'd eat alien guts. Um, then after that, it'd probably be Bruce Wayne. I feel like he has had to cook for himself, but I don't think he also probably don't got no seasoning. Just like super whipped privilege of white. Probably don't put no salt on his food. Um, and it's not going to be... If it was Alfred, I would make him cook for me, but not but not, but not, not uh, Bruce Wayne. And then after that, Arthur Curry. Uh, I, you know what I mean? I'm, I might trust Arthur Curry to do that. And then after that, Shang-Chi. Give me, give me some Chinese food, you know what I mean? Give me some Chinese food. Hold, hold some Chinese food down. Shuff it up, my guy. That was a fun question. There's a game that I'm dying to play on the PlayStation 5. It's called Dragon's Dogma 2. Reminds me of a lot of Skyrim, but looks way better. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma 1 came out before Skyrim, I think. I might be wrong. So, hold on, drag it. Because I have Dragon's Dogma on my Switch. Dragon's Dogma. When did the first one come out? First one came out. Do, 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 do. Can you just tell me the year it came out? That's all I want to know. Why does Google just give me all this information? It came out 2012. So like 12 years ago. And Skyrim. Can't believe how many times they've made this game over and over. 
Y'all know Skyrim came a year before. Okay. So Skyrim was first. The reason why is the discounts are grow with big oh <laughs> seafood Thanksgiving. Definitely gonna be a seafood Thanksgiving. I would go Star for Lord first. Yeah, Brent. I don't trust him to cook anything. Actually, Bruce first, then Star Lord. Hey, beloved channel member. Have you seen with T? What's up, man? Hey, Zach, congrats on 903 years. Appreciate you so much, my friend. Appreciate you. And guys, go subscribe to him. We need to get this man to 100 subs. There's no reason that someone so talented does not have 100 subs. Uh, one of my favorite fighting games, Tekken 3 from Nanko. Just talking about this game. Is the game in here? The game is in here. <laughs> I got to find out where my Digimon Rumble's at because I love that game. I might hook up my uh, PlayStation 2. One of my favorite games, as you guys as can see, I love um, Digimon, Digimon World. Uh, really great game. Love this game. Spent hours playing it. Never beat it because I didn't really beat, beat games back in the day, but that was great. Um... I'm about to hit 960 subs, but my channel's going to turn seven months old soon, and my birthday is on Tuesday. Woo! Good, good job, Laser. 960 subs in seven months. Good shit. And happy, happy. Uh, is, is this Tuesday? Wait, it's Tuesday for me right now. You mean next week, Tuesday? Tekken Three is a classic. Facts. You're goaded. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Streets of Rage favorite fighter game. Nice. Streets of Rage is a classic, man. Hey, Zach, will you give my channel a shout out? I'm trying to get to at least 100. I'm 69 right now. 69. Uh, right now, I'm very uh, also very annoyed. My videos aren't doing that good. Yeah, man. Collect the movie, man. Go check him out. Give him some love. Give him some comments. Give him some feedback so he knows what he needs to do to, to, to get that up. You know, his, his subscriber base so he can get to 100 and, um, you know, start building a, a little growing community. He does trailer action, movie reviews, uh, physical media hauls. Which Digimon would you choose to journey with? Uh, Agumon. Always like Agumon. That's big time. <laughs> I think this month makes it a year for me on YouTube. Nice. I want a Streets of Rage movie. Do you really want a Streets of Rage movie? <laughs> I don't know, man. The way they adapted these video games, Streets of Rage. Did you play Streets of Rage 4? Because I, I don't own it, but it, it's, it's like pretty good. Oh, a Streets of Rage movie came out in 94? I didn't even know that. 69 is the dream and go to number. <laughs> Hey, Dave. Yeah, everyone say happy birthday to Dave's show. Have you ever played Bloody Roar? Yes, I have. I love Bloody Roar. That was my jam. I want a Crash Bandicoot movie with Sony Animation. I earned Sony's own... I, I, I am Sony's own PlayStation. Oh, oh okay, I care what you're saying. Yeah, they Sony, uh, Sony does own PlayStation. June 3rd will be my third year on YouTube. Nice. Twinsies, both both uh, our third years. Do, 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 do. Uh, one of the greatest wrestling games as well. SmackDown 2, know your role, baby. A jam. Uh, uh, underrated uh, Dragon Ball Z fighting game, Ultimate Battle 22. I remember how hard it was to get this back in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's this? This is like a Namco pack. <laughs> Pac-Man, uh, Dig Dug, Gal 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 what? Galaxia, Galaxia, Galaga, Galaxia, Pole Position Two. That's a wild name. Uh, Pozon and the Tower of Dragula. I'm more of a Pokemon guy, but couldn't get into Digimon. Okay, that's fair. I'm I, I like Digimon more than Pokemon. I started my YouTube back when I got my first PS5, 2021. Nice. It's been. Then three years for you too. We start around the same time. I also want a Mickey Mouse movie made by Disney Animation where we can make Mickey a complex and very interesting character with a mature epic story. Mickey would have realistic textures. Interesting. I don't think they would do that, but maybe someone might come up with a great idea and pull it off. You never know. That's just weird that they don't use the classic Disney characters no more. We never see Mickey. We're getting an epic, Miss, uh, epic Mickey uh, remake coming out, which is cool. 
Uh, you think you'll you you think they'll make Ghostbusters five? I kind of feel after Frozen Empire they would put this franchise to rest for a while. Uh, I think they will make a Fro a Ghostbusters five because it's doing well enough at the box office that I feel like they'll warrant making another one. And then they'll they'll probably uh put the director from the Afterlife back on and get a different writer because the directing was fine, the writing was not. So if they get a different writer and have the same director or just change the directing writing team period, then I think they'll do it. But I don't think they're going to give up on it. They just made a Ghostbusters studio to produce TV shows, animated stuff, and movies. They're not going to give up on it. They're not put into rest. They're going to figure it out. The Streets Rage movie wasn't based off the video game. Oh, okay. Hey, Spoiler Kings, beloved channel members. Congrats on three years and 900. Appreciate you, man. Couldn't be here without you. Do you think Marlin and Coco 2 will be announced by Pixar? Marlin? What's Marlin? I don't think I've ever heard that. Coco 2, I see coming. Because Bob Iger said we're going to focus on uh, beloved franchises getting sequels. So I can see them doing Coco 2. That's a beloved one. I'm not sure what Marlin is. Is it Moana you're talking about? Because Moana 2 is supposed to be coming out at the end of the year. Top three Disney animated sequels. That's not Pixar? Disney sequels. You, you asked the wrong guy, man. I don't know. I don't mean knowing the uh, sequels. Okay, Lion King one and a half. Extremely goofy movie. So that's not um Pixar. Jungle Book 2. Tarzan 2, <laughs> uh, Aladdin, uh, and the King of Thieves. Wait, no, Aladdin, the Return of Jafar. I, oh, it was supposed to be three, but I'll give you five. I'll give you a little extra. Zach, what are your top 10 sh TV shows of all time? Wow. You guys are really asking me these questions that could be a video. No, I'm sorry. I'm a, I don't do TV show videos, but, um, uh, top 10 TV shows, video, blah, 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 blah. top 10 TV shows of all time. Off the top of my head would be Smallville, Friends, Dark. Um, Smallville, Friends, Dark. Friends, Prince of Bel-Air. What else? What else? What are my favorite TV shows? This is really, really hard. You know what? Even though I fell off, The Walking Dead would be up there. Um, I watched... What eight seasons of that show? That's longer than most shows go on. So that money heist. What else? Money heist. I need more. Wow, I'm trying to. My brain is racking right now. Uh, Boy Meets World. Um, Home Improvement. New Girl. As you can see, I love sitcoms. This probably shows I'm missing that I really love. But I don't have a letterbox for TV shows. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to put Superman Lois up there. That's the 10. Throw up the rock. You dig? Uh, finding. Oh, Finding Marlon, Final Nemo 3. Oh. Ah, Marlon, the main character. That would be cool. Uh, I think that's going to happen. I do think that uh, Defining Nemo 3 will happen. The end credit scene says we're getting a new one. Plus, Netflix is getting a Ghostbusters animated show. Yeah. Top three worst movies based on a video game. Top three worst movies? Okay. Worst video game movies. Let me see. Um, let's see what they've done. Okay, so the first thing they have on this list is Super Mario movie. I do not agree. I like that movie. Guilty pleasure. Um, didn't see Rampage. I like the Double Dragon movie. I didn't even know they made a postal film. The Dead or Alive movie was pretty bad. <laughs> Dead or Alive was, 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 was pretty bad. Dead or Alive was pretty bad. Um...
Prince of Persia is bad. Just the fact that they casted Jake Gyllenhaal in a movie that should have been casted with Persian and Middle Eastern actors. <laughs> uh, let's see. They did a Far Cry movie? I didn't even know some of these games were made into movies. Wow. I like Mortal Kombat and Annihilation, so I'm not going to put that. Uh, House of the Dead was pretty bad, so I'll do that. House of the Dead. Um, wow, that's crazy that these, all these, I didn't even know they made a Far Cry movie. That's insane. Prince of Persia and Tech, the Dead or Alive game movie. Oof. Rough. I hope Incredibles 3, Monsters 3, Inc. 3 get announced and made. I can see that too. I can see all these getting made. Hi, friend. Hey, popping the popcorn. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Hi, friends. Congratulations, Zach. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. My four favorite TV shows are, for right now are Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Great show. Stranger Things. Great show. Scooby-Doo Mystery, Inc. I don't think I've seen that one. Invincible. Great show. Which ones do you love the most? Out of these is Stranger Things and Invincible. I don't think I've seen Scooby-Doo Mystery, Inc. And in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I've only seen parts of it. I never like sat down and watched the show. But um, I love Invincible, uh, and I really like I love Stranger Things. Sorry, I forgot to say congratulations, man. I'm proud of your channel. Keep it up. Thank you so much, man. And congratulations on, on almost getting to 1,000 subs yourself. For me, it's Lion King 2, Return of Jafar, and Lilo and Stitch 2. I don't think I, I, don't think I saw the first Lilo and Stitch. I didn't see the second one. Great shows. I love them, too. Nice. Huh, she said Doom. Name a show you would like to erase an entire season from and one show you'd like to add a season. Wow. Um, even though this is not a show that I watch, I would like to erase the last season of Game of Thrones so the Game of Thrones fans can shut up about it. <laughs> just, just shut up. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing about how bad season eight was. Uh, a show that I would add a season to is a show on Netflix starring Drew Barrymore and um, Timothy Oliphant called uh, uh, Santa Clarita Diet. I really loved that show. It was it was campy. It was gory. It was fun. It was funny. Had some good mystery. Really, really enjoyed that show. Um, I would I would add a season. I was sad that it the way it ended. Hey Zach, congrats on the hundred subs again, man. Road to one K. Thank you, YK reviews. I appreciate you, man. Strangely enough, I like Mortal Kombat Annihilation, the first live action Mario movie. Same me too. I like those too. I didn't realize how much I look like Joe Russo. Bruh, I thought that was a picture of Joe Russo. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a picture of you. Easy, Velma could go away. That should have not been made into a show. Yo, like, I was like, why are people hating on this? It's because it's progressive. Nope. I watched three episodes of Velma and I was like, tap it out. Can't do it. Great answer. I'm one of those annoying Game of Thrones fans. <laughs> yeah, just shut up, Kenny. <laughs> the Dexter, the old series, take away that last season. I heard that too. I heard people don't like the last season of Dexter. Erase every season of Heroes after the first one. Add another season of LA Finest. Enjoyed Gabrielle Union, just Scalba. I've heard that LA Finest was actually pretty good. Um, I never watched Heroes. Velma season two comes out April twenty fifth, twenty twenty four. That's just next month. That's a, that's less than a month. Um, I have a lot of video games, so let's end the PlayStation two collection. Uh, with one of my favorite franchises, anime franchise, Beyblade. Love, love, love this game. Love Beyblade. Super underrated. I just love franchises where kids play stupid games to save the world. Um, I used to play this a lot. Triple Play 2000. This baseball game was my jam back in the day. Uh, and Mega Man X4. Yeah, I love that he said that. Your games look like album covers. Yeah, that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to um, ride the wave of uh, CDs back in the day. So that's why they made them look like that. Uh, moving on from PlayStation 2. No, PlayStation. That was Play no, no, that was PlayStation. I'm saying PlayStation 2. That was PlayStation, not PlayStation 2. Ah, I dropped the games. Uh, we're going to move on to PlayStation 2. 
and that will be SmackDown. Just bring it. Love, love, love this game. Someone just asked me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Man, I went back to watch Baby recently, and it does not hold up. Oh, of course not. Of course not. Beyblade, Metabot. Well, yeah, Beyblade, Metabots, Digimon, all those things that we used to love back in the day do not hold up. <laughs> they do not because they were made for kids, and now we're adults. There's show. There's certain shows that are made for kids, but also made for adults, and there's certain shows that's just made for kids. And Beyblade's one of them. I used to play that back in the day too. Nice favorite song artist. Favorite artist. A favorite artist is J Cole in terms of rap, in terms of R and B. Uh, I guess I would say Tanache. I, li I listen to a lot of her music. In terms of pop, Florence and the Machine. In terms of rock, Linkin Park. PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 has so many amazing games. Word. What one? What's one WWE storyline that you would like to erase? I would like to erase. I would like to erase. <laughs> Mark Henry having a child with Mae Young, and it was a hand. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't reviews are like this? <laughs> We're like this. It's amazing that you just said that. Oh, uh, yeah. Oof. That was, I don't know what they were thinking. I think the early season of Digimon still, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first four seasons of Digimon hold up. Look. I love, I love Digimon. <laughs> and my F the big three is just big me. Yeah, okay, Kendrick. You need to relax. Trash ass line. Let me stop. R. Kelly and ACDC for me. A oh, man that still listens to R. Kelly. Okay. My top 10 TV shows are Game of Thrones, House of Dragon, Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, The Last of Us, Andor, How I Met Your Mother, Friends, and Big, big Bang Three, and Shogun already? Did the season even end? Jeez, that was a great storyline. Okay, have you seen with T? He said, wait, what? I got to investigate. <laughs> yeah, Mark Henry had a kid with Mae Young, and it turned out to be a hand. Those are my top 10 TV shows. Sexual Chocolate was dope. It was. Your Funkos can't come alive during the live stream. Your facts, they start moving and stuff. Have you seen the clear Bing Bong Funko Pop from Inside Out? No, I haven't seen it. But remember, I haven't seen Inside Out one, so I don't know any. I don't even know who Claire is. And don't worry, I'll never complain about the last season of Game of Thrones. I'm actually one of the people who enjoyed it. Okay. Rihanna and Dua Lipa are my favorites. Kendrick is out of pocket. Facts. He needs to be put back in his pocket. <laughs> I love Kendrick. He's one of my favorite rappers of all time. But you know, chill out, boy. Uh, one of my favorite racing games, Midnight Club, Street Racing. Great, great game. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Make sure this is organized. We saw, uh, what is this? Oh, this is dusty. <laughs> NBA Streets Volume 1. Lo Wait, is this? Yeah. Wait, is this NBA Streets? Is NBA Streets Volume 1. Love this game. Sorry, you know I don't touch these games in a long time. They're all dusty and stuff. Zach, you need to watch Inside Out. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm going to. I swear me and my wife cried at the Bing Bong scene in Inside Out. Saddest scene ever. Wow. They need to bring back Def Jam fighting games. Yes. It'll be too expensive. These rappers are way too expensive now. I'm going to be doing dishes while this live show. Definitely type. Try to type in some. Okay, I appreciate that. Uh, is that the only PlayStation 2 games I have? I guess so. Um, moving on from PlayStation 2, we're going to one of my favorite game consoles of all time is the GameCube NBA Streets Volume 2. I play this game to nauseum. Nauseum, nauseum, nauseum. That's a really good point. No one is signed to Def Jam anymore. That's true. So that would be even that would make it even harder. The fact that there's nobody signed a Def Jam. So I don't even know how all the licensing for that would work. Uh Star Wars Clone Wars for GameCube. This was my jam. 
Ooh, this is a good question. He's a big major release, big major game release disappointment. Ooh, um, the most recent one, actually, I think I have it here. Where is it? Didn't I just pull? I just pulled something. Oh, here it is. This this bum ass game right here. This is for a PS5. Bought a steel book for this because I really love Left 4 Dead. And these are from the people who made Left 4 Dead. And I was excited to have another game like that and play with my friends. And this was this was this was this was, this was booty. This ended up being booty. It was more fun effing around in the lobby than actually playing the game. So sad. What a waste. I wasted what $80 on this crap. Booty juice. Uh, when they made Vendetta, Jeff Jam had one of the greatest lineups in history. That's a fact. I love the Star Wars game for GameCube, man. Star Wars Starfield is trash to me. I don't have an Xbox yet, so I don't know anything about that. But when uh, Hellblade 2 comes out, I will be getting an Xbox somehow, some way, somehow. Um, one of my favorite, another great Spider Man game. I love this game, uh, Spider Man 2. Love, 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 love this game. He said Tekken 7 was garbage. Is that the new one? No, is it uh Tekken 8 is the new one, right? Okay. She's saying the one before this was garbage. Okay. I haven't played it. I want to get Tekken 8 though. My friend said it was dope. Another great fighting game, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Played this for hours as well. Love Dragon Ball Z. Woo! Classic for GameCube. Metroid Prime Echoes, the first one. Look at that. Reflective. Nintendo needs to hurry up and release Metroid P Prime 4 on the Switch. Stop being cowards. He said, I need them to drop a new Mass Effect game. I think I own the Mass Effect games, but I've never played them. And I'm def it sounds like games I'm going to like. So I'm definitely going to check it out. Five favorite films. Mine is Toy Story, Toy Story 3, Raiders of Lost Ark, Wizard of Oz. So the only reason I'm not going to answer this one, Laser, is because I'm going to be doing a video on my top 10 favorite movies of all time. I don't want to spoil it. Um, so I'm not going to answer that one. Look out for the video soon, though. I've been doing a little research, making sure I have all the movies I love. One of my favorite franchises is that and Uncharted. Never got into Uncharted because, for whatever, I don't know. I just never got into it. Um, I played Uncharted. I have, I think I have all the Uncharted games because of PlayStation Plus, but I just haven't played them. I'm going to play them eventually, though. Another game that I played for an extreme amount of hours, NBA Street Volume 3. A underrated wrestling game. I don't know if Dave Show is still here, but WrestleMania 19. Really, really love this game. As you can see, I, I used to play a lot of wrestling games, a lot of basketball games back in the day. He said, oh, I'm excited. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. A game that I probably shouldn't have been playing when I was this age, Gun. Like a Western game where you scout people and rob them and do a whole bunch of debauchery. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Really enjoyed it, though. And we were just talking about Beyblade. Beyblade, Beyblade V-Force. This was probably the best Beyblade game that I that I played. I need Rockstar Games to stop being babies and make new Manhunt game. Mm, yeah, a new Manhunt would be dope. Oh, that was a fun one. Yeah, Gun was fun. Do you have WW2K24? No, I do not. Um, I don't. I don't really buy 2K games anymore. I kind of just wait for them to get free on PlayStation Plus, and then I'll play them. I don't know. I just can't put the seventy to eighty dollars, or sixty to seventy dollars into them anymore, and then have to spend money to upgrade your character. It's just too much. Question: You're the Almighty King Emperor of video industry for one year. Name three changes you will make of video industry. What three changes that I would make? Um, three changes that I want to make. 
Wow, that's really hard. Oh, video game industry, mighty. Oh, the big one would be to create a union for the animators, for the writers, and everything like that, so that they can get their proper benefits and not have to work overtime. Um, that's one major one. Uh, I think. Have you seen what he said? Well, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that because there's certain games that are free that need microtransactions. If it's if it's free, they have to make money somehow. So that's fine. I just I I I would change that. There's no micro. If you pay for a game, there shouldn't be any microtransactions. So like you said just now, um, I stopped playing NBA 2K because of micro. Yeah, 2K. You are you have to pay full price for the game, and then there's microtransactions. That doesn't make any sense. So let's not do that. Um, and also the third change, what is something that pissed me off about video games? Oh, when you buy steel books now, they don't send the disc, they give you a digital code. What is that? Get the hell out of here with that bull crap. Give me the disc inside the steel book. That's why I bought it. <laughs> I wanted the physical thing, not the digital code. So yeah. Nah, Zach, this is the real test. Did you play? Oh, of course. SmackDown versus Raw franchise? I played up to probably 2010. Yeah. Oh, yeah. WrestleMania 19. Yep. What video game would you like to be adapted that has not been adapted yet? Whether it's a movie, TV series, mine is Crash Bandicoot. I think that No More Heroes would be a fun franchise for them to adapt. But do it as an animated film or show. Don't do it as live action because it's so ridiculous. Do it. Get like. I'm trying to think of an animator that would be great to do uh, No More Heroes. Um, get a, 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 like a, a Demon Slayer animator or whoever do that. Is it Mappa or Uni or whatever they're called? Get them to do it. That would be a fun show. A fun show. It would be a throwback to how animes used to be real cringy. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would do that. No more heroes would be a great fun one. Oh, I got a good question. Two celebrity crushes. Mine's Jenna Ortega and Dua Lipa. Okay, so I actually have a question for top five crushes in my next attack. Well, not my, my fifth episode of Hacking Zach, but I can give you two that are probably not going to be on that list. Yeah. Um. So off the top of my dome. Ooh, that's hard. It's top five, top two crushes. I can give one to, I guess, Jennifer Lawrence and Tracy Ellis Ross. They're probably not going to be in my top, so that's fine. Yeah, stop playing 2K. Zach, would you change how the consoles have X in different places on their controller? No. Understand what controller you're playing with. <laughs> Stop being a baby. Congrats on 900, brother. Oh, first of all, welcome to the live stream, Baker Review. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Oh, I'm, I'm straight. Oh, okay, I'm there. Uh, congrats on 900, brother. You put the work in and you deserve it. You still need to plan the movies that made us sometime. Yeah, man. Definitely in the next couple of months, we're going to get that going. The X, button, the X button that matters is the on, on the PlayStation. <laughs> So they just send you an empty metal box? Yes. No, they send you a, a metal box with a piece of paper with a digital code to get the game, to download it. Xbox is trash. <laughs> oh, God. You're part of the PlayStation versus Xbox group. They got to get the Wii remake functions. So more heroes went wild on the Wii. Yeah, man. It was wild. After watching Miller's Girl, I don't think I can ever look at Jenna Ortega without feeling like a dirty old man ever again. <laughs> yeah, that movie was wild. Uma Thurman and Poison Ivy was legit my first childhood crush. That was probably why I tried to defend Batman and Robin. <laughs> that is a solid reason to defend that movie. That is uh, a, a, a guilty pleasure movie. It's not good, but I love it. I love Tracy Ellis Ross. Yeah, she's great. She's underrated. When you hit a thousand subs, you should make a video called How I Became a Movie Fan. If you haven't already, I have an idea when you hit a thousand subscribers. I'm gonna do that because I have no other idea. Oh, I appreciate that 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 alley up of an idea, and I think that's a great idea. I'm actually gonna start working on it from now so I can have a real good idea from it. Yeah, I think.
think I'm going to do that. I kind of wanted to do something like that for a while, but I think I'm going to do that. That sounds fun. Um, another game that I used to love playing a ton is Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. I love this reflected cover. It's awesome. I wish video games did cool stuff like this for both like still. But yeah, love this game. Played it to a uh, nauseam amount. Love the Budokai series. Uh, underrated uh, RPG, Evolution Worlds. One of the only RPGs I've actually finished. What's my jam? Uh, didn't never played the second one. Zach, how many Star Wars games have you played on consoles? I think it might just be two. The Star Wars games that I showed you on GameCube, and then I got Battlefront two for free. No, I'm lying. Cause I okay, so I played that. I played Pod Racers. Love Pod Racers. Um, and the Battlefront 2 game that we got for free on PlayStation. I was playing that for a couple months with my friends. Jenna went crazy on X. So many people are mad about sex scene to do the age difference, even though she was 19. She didn't even do anything. <laughs> it wasn't like Britney Snow and all that stuff. She was, you, you just saw her back and then she disappeared. Would you rather John David Washington or Tom Holland lead every other movie that his theaters and streaming for the next two years? Tom Holland. Oh, God. Tom Holland. Look, I want John David Washington to, to, to succeed because, you know, he's a brother. But I'm not the biggest fan of his acting. I'm not. This isn't a movie question. I know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But what is your favorite food? Mine's lasagna. Ooh, that's a good question. My favorite food. I love food so much. As you can see, as you can see, I love food so much. Um, is this one of my Zach attack? I don't think this is an attacking Zach question. Oh, wait, hold up. Before I even do that, I have a special guest. This is going to be, I can't believe he's even in here. I didn't think he was going to come. Hey. hey. Hello, 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 hello. I'm a Zachy. I'm a, I'm a Zachy. I'm attacking Zach. Oh, that means that you. <laughs> Zach M is here. Round of applause. How's the audio? How's everything? Because I had to reset everything recently. So, oh, you did? Yeah, you sound good. It sounds good. Okay, awesome. Well, actually, you're cracking a little bit. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Like, let me like see a, if I can. When you say like peas and say that, it's like a pop sound. Like that. Like yeah. pop. Like that. Yeah. So <laughs> is that my pop. logo over there? Yeah, man. <laughs> I got a rep. 900 subs, man. I got a rep. <laughs> You're on your way to 3,000. Let's talk about that. Yeah, I mean, you guys over there are killing it, honestly. But yeah. over here, too, man, like, your growth has been incredible. I appreciate it. Incredible. That, appreciate it. And I'm, appreciate I'm trying to here. save some of the major energy for when you get that 1K in the next couple months here. Yes. I'm, 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 I'm excited for that. I'm almost close to getting the 4,000 watch hours. Oh man, I just I'm just excited to do that. Um, Exciting but thank time. you, man. For you, you just came from work. It was what it is? Yeah, yeah. I just got back. <laughs> I oh, just okay. came through the door. First of all, congrats on that. Thank Let's you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Like you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. My 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 job. <laughs> it's just making me wanna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, Tough season. We're not like making our numbers and they're trying to like stress us. And I'm like, uh, it's not my fault. I'm doing every single thing I can do within the eight hours I work here. Yeah. Don't ask you to do nothing before or after the later. <laughs> I'm just trying to get home to do YouTube. Like that's how I'm trying to get through. That's my life. Work, YouTube, family time, movie theaters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then sometimes I get a TV show while I'm in transit. Oh, yeah. Those are hard to squeeze in sometimes, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can answer this question, too. What's your favorite uh, food? Oh, um, man. Um, it's so generic to go pizza. No, you know what? It's cheeseburgers. That's my favorite food. I was thinking that. I was going to say pizza, but I was like, ah. Um, you know what? It's probably going to change every day. But right now, I'm feeling chimichanga. Mm, go Deadpool. Me and Deadpool have that. Yeah, we have that in common. <laughs> Me and Deadpool. You know what I mean? You know, honestly, that's funny that I said that. He's the reason why I even knew what a chimichanga was. 
Really? <laughs> I was reading his comic and he was eating one. He said, like, oh, chimichangas. I was like, what is that? And I was like, is that a made up move like food in Marvel? And then I found it in like, oh, at a Mexican restaurant and I ate it. And I was like, this is amazing. Deadpool was correct. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. Deadpool educating. Who would have thought? Educating the kids. <laughs> Uh, Tom Holland, yes. I'm sorry. Not Don David Washington. As much as I think Tom Holland doesn't have as much range as he should, um, he has more range than Don David Washington. <laughs> I think he has range. His projects just kind of suck. That's true. The ones yeah. that he, <laughs> when he's not Spider-Man, he just... Yeah. He just picks bad projects. Uh, he needs uh, Zendaya's agent. Um... So are you saying you never play Star Wars The Night of the Old Republic on the original Xbox system? That game's absolutely amazing. You can choose between being dark or or the, uh, the light side. Um, No, I haven't played it. Um, Look, I'm going to make a statement here. Please don't unsub or get mad at me. But I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I'm a casual Star Wars fan. I never, never read the books that don't count anymore. I never watched Clone Wars. I never watched Rebels. I I am not in love with the original trilogy like everyone else. I like them. Empire Strikes Back goes hard, and I don't hate the prequel trilogy or the sequel trilogy as much as everybody hates them. I just think Star Wars is fun, but I don't like I don't like it's not like Dragon Ball Z and Marvel and DC and and other things where I'm like oh I gotta get on everything. That's all I gotta say. So if you're like you never knew about this about Star Wars, <laughs> how could you? Just realize like it's not my thing. I'm going to try and match your pitch for a second. (laughs) Just match your pitch for just one second and just say, I'm probably pretty casual too. (laughs) I did get really high pitch. (laughs) I love it when you get high. I I notice that all the time. You do that a lot in your streams and I love it. (laughs) It's great. What else? What's that? Yeah, no, I. Which one? The post oh, I, uh, on your uh, not on that side, yeah, that one, that red one, that red and black one. War? This one, no, over there, on the other side. Where Under your Zach, the line talks live. You mean Under. this? Yeah, that's a Spider-Man suit. That's one of my Spider-Man oh, suits. Oh, I thought it was a poster. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Have you worn that before? While like streaming? too many times, <laughs> too many times. <laughs> Jeez, it's time to hang it up. <laughs> it well. It doesn't fit very well anymore. Oh. As my as my wife very graciously let me know <laughs> like a year ago. <laughs> She's the reality check. Yeah. Halloween. Surrounded. I got I got Jacob Hubbard. I had this moment already. It was Halloween time when I was wearing that. <laughs> and that's when she left me. It was last Halloween. She was like, babe, it's time to, it's time to put it up or get a new one. It's t- yeah. It's time. No. <laughs> Based on choices you make in the game, you have oh you even construct your own lightsaber. Oh, that actually sounds pretty dope if you're like a huge uh, Star Wars fan. I and briefly remember that game. Yeah, my cousins had it. it. <laughs> the two Zacks, Zach <laughs> Millie. Hey, <laughs> it's the Zachiverse. <laughs> hey, Kenny, what's going on, man? Oh man, the only Zach I love more than you two are Zach Morris. <laughs> That's saying a lot. Wow, that is saying a lot. That is saying a lot. Can we call a timeout? <laughs> hey, look at KO Monger, Kill Monger, Major Energy is down. I got to 5K. Congrats to that, man. Wow, good job, dude. You're killing it over there, especially oh, with yeah. uh, these like pop culture news uh, uh, breakdowns, especially with the Major case, because yeah. I haven't seen very many people covering that, and I got a lot of my information from you on those videos, so and good work over there, he's dude. doing it still, even though it's like not as hot, meaning like he cared. He wasn't jumping yeah. on the bandwagon. Yeah, you're doing great, man. He said, I know these bums got to step up. Really, chill? We were just congratulating you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I know not to give him any props. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. DBZ Sagas was a game I played a ton. It wasn't great, but it was a couch co-op DBZ game that me and my friends could play. Yeah. Look, there's a lot of mediocre DBZ games, but since they were so few and far between, we cherished them all. <laughs> <laughs> like the last 10 years, we get a DBZ game every year. But, you know, when I was younger, there that was not a thing. Like a lot of people don't understand the difference. You know, me and you are not that different in age. Like when we were really young, a lot of this geek stuff came out years apart. Yeah. yeah. And now they're getting it every month and they don't, and people don't, 
appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true. That's why I'm not so hard on like comic book stuff. Is like I remember back in the day that I would go to see Daredevil and it was bad, and then I would have to wait eight <laughs> months to a year to go see another comic book movie, and then it might have been bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was a very young kid though, so like any superhero movie that my dad took me to, I I, I was like, I love the Fantastic Four, <laughs> I love these movies. <laughs> I have a guilty spot for the the first two Fantastic Four movies. I gotta watch them again before the new one comes out. Yeah, before Deadpool three comes stick? out, actually. No. Yeah, no, I don't need to see well, that. Lasted twenty minutes, and I tapped out. I was like, yep. Oh really? I actually thought the first twenty minutes weren't that bad. I thought it got really bad when they do the like one year later jump. Then I thought it was like, oh wow, this like reshoot city, like this is terrible. <laughs> reshoot city. It's like, okay, this is an actual movie, and now this is not. When you can tell it's nothing but a wig on Sue Storm, it's like, okay, they they rushed this part. <laughs> yeah, because she probably changed her hair color back, and then yeah, like, oh, we actually need you to reshoot some stuff. What? <laughs> yeah, but I I liked what Josh Trank was doing with like the body horror stuff. I wish there was more mm. of that. It was it was yeah. pretty cool. Across the Zachaverse. Great to see, <laughs> great to see you, Zach. What's going on, man? Hey, Zach. Hey, Dave. What's going on, dude? Oh, once again, happy birthday. He just had his birthday. Show. Oh, happy birthday, Dave. Tacos are my favorite food. Nice. Tacos are great. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with tacos. Dark movies. Hey, Toby. Uh, peace is great. Well, Dello movies. Thank you for being here, man. Congrats on 900, man. Me and him are gonna be uh doing a, a stream next month in April where we swap movies. Um, so he gives me a movie I've never seen, I give him a movie he, he'd never seen. Um, Ooh. I got Requiem for a Dream. Uh, so that's gonna oh, be have interesting. Fun with that one. <laughs> I know <laughs> I didn't make it through it. I, I oh yeah, half an hour maybe, and then I just I just wasn't it wasn't the mood, it wasn't the mood for me. Oh, I no. need I need to go back and revisit it. It just wasn't what I was feeling when I put it on. I know I what think I'm going to do. It's going to be a late night. It's going to be, I don't have to wake up early for work. I'm just going to, I think it's three hours. So I'm going to lay it's my long. bed, headphones on, lights off, and just watch it. I think that's the perfect mood for a weird movie like that. Or like a sad movie. What I hear, it's like hard to watch. So, yeah. Uh, would you watch 10 sequels to Imag <laughs> Imaginary or 10 sequels to Madam Web? Um, Madam Web all liked, the way. Since I kind of <laughs> liked Imaginary, I didn't like Madam Web. I'll make 10 sequels to Imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only person I've heard say that they kind of liked Imaginary. Kenny kind of liked it too. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Yeah, I can't I think that's why it. He set I didn't me up. see it. You know, so I think why he set me up. It's not a good movie, but it's like, uh, it's so bad that you go, ha ha, you're stupid. That's it's like that kind of movie. <laughs> What's gonna be better, Imaginary or Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey too? Because <laughs> I was kind of I fell out of my seat this morning. <laughs> What's on like, Rotten so... Tomatoes? <laughs> yes, I mean it was only at like six reviews, so yeah. it's still the really really early. Reviews is over a hundred and it's at a seventy-seven. Yeah, that's crazy. That's not. I mean, if if they pulled it off, good for them. Really good yeah. for them. I was I just think shocked. They, know they have something, and they're like, let's put a little bit more effort. <laughs> I mean, when you, when you, what was it, 50,000 they made the first one and they made 5 million off of it? You, yeah, put some more effort into your next yeah, one. Take, take a million from that and throw it into this movie. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it's actually a good movie. I, I, that will be yeah. the biggest plot twist of 2024, man. If that I movie is Kenny, great. I think Kenny's seen it early. I know um, Raven, uh, Raven Fan 09 is seeing it right now. He told me he was like he was in the live stream earlier, and he said he's seen it. And um, somebody else is telling me to see it. I guess it's like early screenings. Um, so, so a lot of the people have seen it that I know. They'll let me know yeah. how garbage it is. We're or, all out here like MCU versus DCU. I think we've got to start paying attention to the Pruniverse. I mean, that, that might be the real game changer coming up. I James Gunn, watch so out! <laughs> I hate it so much. Pruniverse is garbage. First of all, hold on, let me talk about that. Oh my God, Screen Zen. First of hey. all, the channel member. Appreciate you and the donation. I appreciate you so much. Wanted to stop by and say congrats to that on 900 subs. Good, great friend, YouTuber. And for some reason, it doesn't uh, put the emojis. Think hype. But, uh, yeah, think hype. Okay. I appreciate you so much, man. And it's a perfect timing because I get my first payout in April. <laughs> hey, look at that. 
<laughs> that's awesome, dude. Yeah, I appreciate you, Screens. And got to have you up here again. I know you. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. Someone just popped in. We got so you just got guests coming in. Bradman. Hey. Dude. It's been a minute. <laughs> What's going on? We got the Bradman. We got the Bradman. How are you doing, man? <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. Just busy week. Not even two days. Not even three days in. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you had a client right before this. How was that? Um, good. It's this. This is getting to be a very lucrative side hustle. <laughs> That's what so. I yeah, them. That's great. Yeah, That's mm -hmm. what I'm liking to hear, man. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. How, how are you guys doing, man? We're doing great. Zach good. just came like ten minutes before you, and mm -hmm. started roasting me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <was> I? <laughs> it's so natural now. I don't know. My high voice. <laughs> oh, come on. That, was, that was that was all in love. Come on. I know. I, know. <laughs> I love it. Around. <laughs> oh, so you answer this question, Brandman. Would you rather watch ten sequels to Imaginary or ten sequels to Madame Web? Um, you know what? Um. <clears throat> I would take 10 sequels to Imaginary. <laughs> um, especially, especially if it's during Halloween season. Zach, you probably know this. I'm very, very easy to please during Halloween season. Yeah. So sh schlocky horror is right up my alley. I would watch 10 sequels, and I would just save them all for, for October. And Perfect. I like the Wanda Wise. I like the Wanda Wise. Um, you know, I, I think she... She's only she, uh, in that movie. She was, she was, she was the only one putting in work. So yeah, you know, give me 10 sequels with the Wanda Wise. Um, yeah, because Ma Madam, Madam Webb was just total blast for me. And I cannot, as a Spider-Man fan, I cannot <laughs> in good conscience co-sign any of this villain, anti-hero, whatever side verse that Sony's doing. I, I can't, I, um, yeah, yeah. Madam Web, I, I couldn't even I couldn't even like watch it and make fun of it. You know? I could. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but, it was so easy. But, it was asking me to do it. It, it was. Did, wait, wait. Did did when so when when Dakota Johnson drove the um the ambulance truck through the billboard at Ezekiel, did Ezekiel jump into the path of the Ambulance on purpose? Did he do that on purpose? Did he do anything on purpose? I don't know. Um, I I don't think anything he did was on purpose. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? It was yeah, yeah. Um, it's towards the third act where she somehow yeah. knew exactly where he was through a brick wall. Yeah. Um, I think he <laughs> jumped and then she still hit him somehow. Mm -hmm. I think he, he was very he poor. He could have stayed exactly where he was, and the ambulance truck would have missed him. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I would. But he jumped right into it. That's I only saw it once. This Ezekiel. is very, this is very faint in my memory. I only the saw ADR it once. Is yeah. the part of Ezekiel. The fact yeah. that, that oh, the was ADR was trash. trash. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Yeah. Awful. Uh, yeah, because you you could you could you could tell he wasn't um, that great in the English department. He but. was not. He wasn't saying any of the words that were coming out of his mouth, like in real time. Mm. <laughs> I'm with you, Zach. I'm not super huge Star Wars. I'm more Star Trek. Yeah, I'll, I grew up more on Star Trek. My brother uh, introduced me to Star Trek at a young age. I, I was introduced to Star Trek first. Um, you know, Star Trek: The Next Generation was very much a stamp in, in, the, in the family household. That was my gateway into it. Um, not e not even the original Star Trek. It was Star Trek: The Next Generation, and then the ones that kind of followed. And then I went back and will watch the original Star Trek, Star Wars. Um, even though I I would kind of consider myself more of a Star Wars guy. Um, no disrespect to Star Trek at all. I still love Star Trek. Um, I didn't really start it from the beginning until I was maybe like eleven or twelve. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, the re-releases in the theater, um, were, were what caught my attention. And then, and then, and then, and then I, and then that's what really got me into Star Wars. And then episode one came out, and, you know, think of that, what you will. And then I started going back, you know, it was the video games, the comics, the, the novels. Um, yeah. but, but yeah, yeah. Um, 
I really like them both. And even even the um, even the the newer Star Trek movies, I enjoyed. Uh, yeah, JJ Abrams yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, the JJ Abrams ones. I think. Yeah, uh, I think. Yeah, I think Star Trek Beyond was a very slept on movie. Really like that one. I still got to watch that one. I haven't. I haven't finished yeah. it yet. Beyond is solid. Um, Abrams didn't direct that one. He only uh, produced it because at that point he was off doing um, Star Wars. So um, and Justin I said it Lin before he never finishes anything. He starts no. it and <laughs> finishes it until Star Wars, and he fumbled the bag. This is why he doesn't finish them. Yeah, and you know I don't even think he planned on coming back to that. No, um, Colin Trevorrow was supposed to do Duel of Fates or whatever it was supposed to be called. Yeah, yeah, Rise of Sky, which which is the only Star Wars um, media that I that I to this day have not watched. <laughs> don't don't but, you've never watched Rise of Skywalker? Rise of Skywalker is on my personal blacklist. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah it's my do personal it. blacklist. Worry. Hold on, I'm not going to recommend is, it, but <laughs> yeah, this is becoming a party. Hold on, hey guys. We got so hey, many. Hey, look at that! Hey. All these lovely people in here. Uh, mm -hmm. Pop of the popcorn, Katie, Crazy Kate, if you want, and obviously the birthday boy himself, Dave Show. Happy birthday! Hey, what's oh, up? Dave, happy, happy birthday! birthday. Yeah, hope you're having a great day. Oh, I don't think he's on on yet. Can you hear me now? <laughs> uh, well, damn, this is what happens when. You're having too much fun. You lose the questions. It happens. It happens. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Jenna Ortega. That was a long time ago we were talking about Jenna Ortega. Ah, there's a super chat. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, I think John David Washington will be fine when he figured out he doesn't need to do an impression of his dad. Oof. <laughs> I never felt like he well, was then. trying to be Denzel. No. Um, I think, like... The only time it it like really felt like he was channel channeling Denzel for me was the creator, but I think that was just like a lot of his. Um, I don't think he can help that. Just a lot of this, the way he, he speaks, that sort of thing, the speech. You know, I can't help that. But um, it was it was really prominent for me there. <laughs> gotcha. No disrespect to him. Uh, Zach Attack believes Kenobi is what Barbie nicknamed her boyfriend. What? Huh? Wait, uh, what um, that okay, even Chillmonger. Um, I'm very confused. <laughs> Me too. Huh? I have no idea what just happened. I want merch. I, I want, want merch. I'm gonna maybe screenshot that and just put it on a shirt. <laughs> they were supposed to make a remake of Knights of Old Republic for the PlayStation Five, but now it's been canceled because they ran into problems with making the game. Yeah, they released that teaser trailer. And now it's gone. So it that's what much. happened. Oh my God, Kenny! Why are you doing this to me? Would you rather add an hour of movie to Mega Lightning <laughs> or Mia Coupla? You have to. Yeah, you have to watch it. Oh no! I'm oh, going no. Mega Lightning. That sounds amazing. The I still have to watch that. I've ever watched. Um, I never watched either one. I'd rather I, add but... another hour on to Mega Lightning. <laughs> I'm just you know, going with you guys that watched it. Let me tell you, because so Mega Lightning is a uh, the same people who made Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Literally, some of the same actors, same sets. Mm. Uh, right before, um, it's yes. about a, a couple of young teens whose family goes away and they go have a party, and for some reason, there's a suicidal or not suicidal, homicidal lightning storm going out, killing people. While at oh, the same mm -hmm. time, there's also a person killing people. So the lightning is killing people, the person is killing people, and then they go out there in the lightning storm and trying to find their parents. It was stupid and really, really bad. Terrible acting. The VFX was garbage. But I will watch that stupid schlock of a film three hours long before I watch Mia Coppola again. One of the dumbest movies I've ever watched in my life. Three hours. Tyler Perry, guys. Jeez. Oh, Tyler wow. Perry. Just being Tyler Perry. Yeah, I never, yeah. Heard, never heard of it, actually. Don't do not do it. It was the number one movie on Netflix for three weeks. I was like, why are you guys doing this? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to make another one. Why are you doing Three it? weeks. That's crazy. So I'm making frozen pizza. <laughs> hey, look at Dave's show dropping comments while he's in the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> he's frozen pizza for my birthday dinner, then I'll pop in. 
<laughs> Which means hey, I'll be niggas. checking on that periodically, so. <laughs> Gotta run, but congrats again here to a thousand. Appreciate you, man. Hey, Michael101591. Love saying your name. How you doing? Uh, Dave Show also again. <laughs> In the past. <laughs> see you tomorrow. He says, I got my ticket to see Civil War, also Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace. Are you guys excited to, talk, to watch the new A24 film, Civil War? Yes. Yeah, I am getting there now, seen, yes. I haven't seen anything on it yet. I haven't watched the trailer. So. Yeah, definitely check out the, the first trailer. It's really, really good. I feel a little misled with the trailers. Where's Chris Evans at? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a letterbox review that said that there was no Captain America, there was no Robert Downey <laughs> Jr. I love how they say Captain America and not Iron Man, but Robert Downey Jr. <clears throat> no, like it's it's A24 and it's Alex Garland. So so I'm I'm definitely gonna, you know. I'm there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, but, definitely. But Zach already knows that I don't really like A24 films, so yeah. You know, people's I, it's, that don't like them. admittedly, it's a breath of fresh air to hear that because everyone's all about um, A24 and raving, oh, A24 can't miss and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So it is kind of refreshing to kind of hear someone kind of go against the grain in that regard. So I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. They're my favorite yeah. production company, but I'm not going to say mm -hmm. they don't miss. They but Zach it. already knows that that because uh, because we've talked about it before. The only one that I that I do like is Midsummer. I like the mm -hmm. or night mid uh, Midsummer. Um, I think that's a twenty four. I don't know. It was. So, um, and then I also like mid nineties and um hmm. the bring the um the one where they were robbing like um people's um houses like the celebrity houses. I like that. Oh, Bling Ring. Bling ring, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. Uh, Emma Emma Watson being a bad girl. Emma Watson, yeah, I'm trying. And I like Hereditary, but I don't know if that's mm, that and that's also a twenty. It was, I think it that was, was a yeah. good one. Was the only two I didn't like? What you said? Was Iron Claw also a twenty four? Yes, yes. Was Iron, Iron Claw. Claw. Yeah. The um, only two I really didn't. Just... Really have a party here. No, like, go ahead. I don't think this is the most people hey, I've ever Toby. had <laughs> in a stream at one time. I don't uh, even know what my limit is. <laughs> it's because we all love you, Zach. That's why. I appreciate that so much. Oh, hold it's on. funny though. Two Zachs are right there next to each other, though. Yeah, I know. The hey, MVPs are on top. <laughs> <laughs> also, let me, you know, get your. <laughs> Toby. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yo. Oh, I have to ask you this question as a horror fan. <laughs> Where is it? Hold on. Oh, jeez. I think I know uh... which question it is. <laughs> <laughs> you were you were watching? I can't find it. But would you watch <laughs> ten more sequels to Imaginary or ten more sequels to um, uh, Bad and Web? I have not seen Imaginary yet, so I can't really say anything on that. So, okay, I will watch mm -hmm. it tomorrow, though. But um, oh, it just came out over there, right? I heard your friend said that he uh, he watched it, uh, it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, so I'm definitely watching that tomorrow. But um, but yeah, Madden Web one hundred percent. Then I guess <laughs> like I've seen that one. I'll watch ten more of that one. See how she works when she's actually blind. If I had to, <laughs> if I really had to. Speaking of uh, Toby from the past, the Pooniverse is the best thing that ever happened. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what? I'm glad you're on here. Explain yourself. What is this? <laughs> um, have you ever heard of sarcasm? <laughs> no, <laughs> man. <laughs> Seriously, on that one. <gasps> Brandon to Brandon. No, nah, but yeah. <laughs> Brandon Davis, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Puniverse is um like that 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 completely blindsided me because of what they they announced that what like a week ago two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Mr. Dan and Hard, thank you. I think this is the first time I've seen you live stream. Appreciate you, man. How are you doing? It's because I popped on. <laughs> He's like, hold on. <laughs> Katie's in the live stream. Let me go see what's going. On. <laughs> he said, "I'm back with little." I think he's saying little C uh, uh, Caesars, not seizures. 
Oh. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you didn't have little Caesars. <laughs> I, hope, I, I hope, I hope not. not. Uh -oh. I hope not. Yeah, I um, sincerely hope not, right? <laughs> I'm thinking some of the pizza. I mean, it's it's gonna be auto correct. If he thinks the Avengers are here, it might be Caesars. Actually, we 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 may have to take him literally. I was I was gonna say, um, if I don't know about are, that. If we are the Avengers, and there there is six six of us. <laughs> True. Back M is yeah. is cat yeah. is definitely cat. They're both. Oh, right thanks. Me, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bradman is Hulk because you see the muscles. Yeah, <laughs> obviously I'm Black Widow. Obviously. And then you got, to delegate. You got the hair. Yep, exactly. Got a little red. You know what I mean? <laughs> delegate the rest that you want. Who's Iron Man? <laughs> Who's the rest? <laughs> oh man, let's see. You guys. Talk Toby gives chat. Hawkeye vibes. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like, literally no, have Hawkeye a. Thor hammer. I don't know about that. But... Oh, there, oh, there you, you go. The Thor. You're worthy. <laughs> I guess I'll be Iron Man. <laughs> I guess I would have to be Captain America. <laughs> hey. There you go. The only 24 I watched was the Iron Call, and that was a good film, yet depressing as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, yeah. I I actually um I don't I don't know why I would do this to myself, but I rewatched it again like a week and a half ago after seeing it in the theater. It's holding it. I was holding it together pretty good until like the last couple minutes. You know, I kind of had to call up my call up my uh my folks and my sister and just told them all I love them. <laughs> that last line that Zac Efron gives, like, mm -hmm. oh man, yeah. What's more depressing, that or the whale? Oh, I think I Iron was Claw. a mess. I Claw. Claw. Yeah. The whale that messed me up, dude. That movie was was weird and twisted. Yeah, that's Darren Aronofsky for you, right? Oof. I remember mm. leaving that movie and I was crying on the train train track, not train track, train station, waiting for the train. And the lady came over to me like, "Are you okay, Sunny Boy?" And I was like, "I just watched a sad movie." Um, uh -huh. Iron Claw didn't do that to me. <laughs> I haven't seen Iron Claw. I have to watch it. Great movie. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, really good movie. Hoping... Candy the movies. Thank you for being in the live stream. Say congrats on 900 subs. Keep the great work. Happy to see so many people in here on the stream. Yes. I'll be back, guys. Oh. Yep. Get your food. <clears throat> I didn't like Hereditary. I love Bling Ring. Went to the theater to see it. Fun fact, the real girl wound up in the same prison with Lizzie Lohan for bur burglarizing Lindsay House. Oh, 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 I did not know that. Did not know this was based on a real story. <laughs> yeah, Bling Ring is based on okay. a true story, but I didn't know... That they went to the same prison. That's interesting. Wow, that's crazy. You 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 burglarize someone's house and you end up in prison with them. Yeah, that's, that's quite the movie. You. Yeah. Oh, CC Clemens, friend of the channel. Thank you for joining the live stream. Thank you for that, man. Congratulations. Appreciate you all, oh, Mama. Oh, all oh, you guys. Appreciate you all. <laughs> oh my God, he got a wild Brandon. <laughs> hey, yeah, man. Get to get Brandon out here. And it's 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 rarity, man. Yeah, I got I gotta do this more often. You know, I miss I miss you doing this. So yeah. <laughs> Martin Scorsese says absolute cinema with poop. <laughs> Who makes oh no. I'm what did I'm I just so walk ashamed. into? <laughs> you know, I'm I'm so ashamed to admit that I'm slightly intrigued about this Puniverse thing. I'm I'm I, I hate to admit that. I'm intrigued. I'll be. I'll be keeping Same. an eye on it. Same. You're gonna keep an eye on it too. It's gonna start tomorrow. Another cinematic tomorrow universe. will tell us a lot. <laughs> so this is gonna be the Godzilla Kong New Empire. I certainly am. I, I certainly just, am. Yeah, I can't Seeing wait for it. it. I just, I just saw the trailer when I went to see Ghostbusters on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm seeing it. Uh, I have a screening tomorrow, so that's. Uh... Cool. I got. I still I need got to one watch. more movie to watch. And then I'll, I got it. three movies to watch. <laughs> you haven't watched any of them. I only or... watched the first one. I got the, the final one to watch. Godzilla. Yeah. So I gotta watch. I I might skip King Kong. It's like whatever. What's <laughs> happening with, King with uh, Return of the King? By the way. Um. Oof. Uh. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it, dude. I'm coming. People are. <laughs> 
probably get pissed at me like you said. Give the people what they want, Zach. You, Hurry up. You gotta, you gotta feed your fans, dude. I'm starving. Come on. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Feed it. me more. <laughs> I got it. Four and a half hours. I'm gonna lock somewhere in my schedule to watch this movie for four and a half hours, and hopefully without interruption, because that will make it like six hours. Damn, it's four and a half hours. It's so yeah. Long. Now you know why the review's not here. <laughs> I think it's close to five, isn't it? I think it's like Jesus Christ. Oh, it's I'm long it right now. Uh, it could uh, be me. What are we talking about? Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, Lord of the Rings: Return of the King. Is it theatrical or extended? Edition. I'm watching the extended. It's four hours and thirteen minutes. Mm, I okay. I sit through it every every New Year's and watch it. All of them. The four all hour the version? versions. All Ooh. the all the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings. Jeez. I'll watch the Give first one props. extended, but I'm never watching the second one extended ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I read all the books too. I'm such a nerd. I've read all the books too. That's fine. We're all nerds in here. We wouldn't be <laughs> we, we would be in this chat right now if we weren't nerds and geeks. <laughs> He said Mama Bear wasn't anywhere there around as soon as Brandon popped out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just bringing people into the chat. <laughs> Ooh, what is everyone's top five movies that they're looking forward to this year? Ooh. Oh, um, well, one of them already happened, which was June. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd say, I'm trying to think what else. Um, so there's June. There's Deadpool and Wolverine. Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, I would also say uh, I'm trying to think what else. I'm to see what's coming out. Yeah, I'm trying to see what's coming out as well. Um, I know. I'm trying to think back to my most anticipated cool. video. I'm like, what did I do for my most made? anticipated video? Yeah. I don't yeah. remember. Like, what did I do for mine as well? Right. Um, it can always change because some of those movies probably yeah. came out like in part two. Yeah, I'm excited mm -hmm. for yeah. Inside Out 2 and Deadpool. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to those ones too. As of right now, for me, it's Deadpool, Sonic 3, Terrifier 3. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it for right now. That's a, nice, that's a nice. Gladiator 2. That's a nice handful. That's a, that's a nice lineup, though. Yeah. Oh, glad you all about Terrifier. Yeah, that has my attention. Yeah. Ballerina got delayed, though, mm -hmm. didn't it? Ballerina's not coming out yeah. anymore. Yeah, that's 2025. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that and Why'd they it delay it? Uh, they said the action sequences weren't up to par to the John Wick franchise. Oh, yeah. yeah you, like you, if, if you're going to if you're gonna do a John Wick spinoff, the, the action sequences. So, you know, they can yeah, take as long as they want. Like like oh, Maxine mm -hmm. could be good, too, once I see a trailer oh, for that. Oh, yeah. I'm really excited for that. Yeah, that that's definitely on my list. Um, because you, guys, you know, Ian. Long Legs, Cuckoo, Deadpool, Wolverine, and um, is there another Craven the Hunter? Film? Huh? Craven the Hunter. You know what? I'm the only one gonna do it. Yes, Craven the Hunter. My <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Venom Three: The Last Dance. Why not? What what did they need? Oh yeah, that's a real <laughs> title. <laughs> yeah, I still can't believe that. Still reminds back, me of uh, one last time, Magic I Mike. <laughs> Magic Mike. Mike. Yeah. If they yeah. do a Magic Mike with Venom, I may <laughs> walk out of the theater. They'll do That'll it. Very meta. <laughs> yeah, I'd I'd say um like with the recent trailers, Furiosa is probably on my list too, just because it's Ooh. very much um yeah it's very much here. Kingdom you of know, like my, Oh yes, Kingdom of there we go. There we go. You know, there's actually mm -hmm. a lot of good movies yeah. coming out. Now. You gotta yeah, you know, like. I hope so, man. I've been underwhelmed so far. Uh, yeah, and you know, when I first heard about Furiosa, I'm like, why? Why just do another Mad Max? But then I saw, but then the trailer really sold me, and it still seems to be keeping that energy that um, that that Fury Road, which is one of my favorite movies, by the way. Um, you know, kind of established, and you know, then I started kind of looking at it like, you know, the Mad Max universe has enough is big enough to where they could do some more more world building and. You know, um, you know, shine a light on other characters other than Max himself. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good with it. Um, looks, I'm, I'm just trying. I'm just hoping that the. Um, I'm just curious to see how the action sequences measure up to Fury Road because that's one of my all-time favorite action movies. I thought it was absolutely great. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one was awesome. Yeah, Fury Fury Road was incredible. 
Yeah, I loved. Fury Do you Road watch too. other Mad Max movies to enjoy Fury Road? Nope. No, because they all they all stand on their own. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You. you know, if you watch, if you haven't yeah, oh, watched sorry, the original Katie. Mad Max with Mel Gibson, you can you can mm-hmm. just watch Fury Road and know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, you 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 legitimately can. Um, they're all very they they all very much stand on their own. Like especially if you watch um. If you watch like the first two back to back, like yep. the first one's like very much like a grounded revenge movie. And it's like the it's like the main one that doesn't really feel post apocalyptic. They don't really go into that until until the second movie, until the Road Warrior. Mm-hmm. I agree um, with Brandon. Yeah, and then um beyond Thunderdome, um the third one that co starred Tina Turner was like a huge thing out of it. Uh, they um, it was like a huge thing at the time, I believe. Um, that that's like a total standalone, and then Fury Road came along, and it's like, yeah, you don't. You, you, basically, what I'm getting, basically, I'm just saying in a in, in a very drawn out way is you don't have to watch any of them um, to um, to, to to know what's going on. <laughs> you can watch them on your own. In Fury Road, right? Yes, Charlie Theron. Yeah. Yes, okay. Charlie Theron. Yeah. Fury Road is a prequel. Yeah, it's going to be a. Uh, Anya Taylor Joy this time, who's just on yep. fire right yep. now. Yeah, mm-hmm. she might be Silver Surfer, which I think is a terrible idea. Not because she can't do it, because I just don't want to hear the thumbnail warriors mm-hmm. talk. I thought they put their they put their room for like, us, right? I, yeah, I don't I think like it's her, true. It, I like her in um, the Night in Soho or whatever that movie's called. Uh, Last, Last Night in Soho. Yeah, love that movie too. She was good. Absolutely great. Mm-hmm. She was good in the menu too. She's just good. Oh, yeah, she I, was. I absolutely love the menu. Sometimes, I, sometimes I just find myself thinking about that cheeseburger at the end of the menu, just randomly. Mm-hmm. It must have been real good, <laughs> right? Oh, that yeah. looked good. It looked good. Alrighty, guys. Sorry about that. What did I miss? Uh, we were talking about cheeseburgers. We were talking oh, about well. the cheeseburger at the end of the menu. <laughs> Speaking of food, hey, hey, bring it, nice. everybody. Oh uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and start shipping it out. What's everybody's address? <laughs> <laughs> Moldy ass pizza just. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? You know what? Um, my DoorDash is good. I was gonna say DoorDash is good because you can gift people on DoorDash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Have you guys heard of this film, The Watcher in the Woods? Mm-mm. I have. No. Um, I think it's actually on Disney Plus. I think I scrolled past it. Um, but yeah, I've definitely heard of it. Horror film. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Anyone then excited for uh, the uh, the new Watchers though? From uh, the daughter of uh, Shyamalan. Of uh, Night Shyamalan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll see. <laughs> um, I, I hope she, I hope she sticks the landing a little a little better than her father does. With, with look what you did, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> We're Where's calling you out <laughs> live on air. <laughs> We're keeping you a cannibal, sir. Accountable, not a cannibal. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, not. Please not. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Oh, he said Deadpool, Inside Out 2, Magazine Dreams. That's still coming out? I don't think that's why he's got the LOL. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Civil War, Beverly Hills Cop 4, Bad Boys 4, Deadpool. Nice. I would say Saw so yeah. so 11. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that, that is coming out. Yeah, Roadhouse, Roadhouse is good. That, but that's awesome. That's out already. Yeah, Roadhouse, yeah, Roadhouse just came out. It was good. I really like that movie. You guys re- too. Yeah, releasing all the Spider-Man films in theaters. Yeah, I'm not going to get to do that, though. Yeah, I'm going to try to go mm-hmm. see all of them. Mm-hmm. Or I will. Yeah, we'll see. You got a Craven fan. Hey, all right. There you go. He's a, I forgot about Maxine. I really want to see that. Fury also looks great. Yep. Number one for me is Doom Part 2, Kingdoms of Planet Apes, Joker 2, Deadpool 3, Beetlejuice oh, yeah. 2, Fall Guys, Twisters. Oh, Twisters looks fine. Oh, Fall Guys, yeah. Yeah, Fall um, Guys is going to be fun. And Joker yeah. 2. Yeah. Yo, we actually have a lot of good movies coming out. Well, good sounding potential movies. They, they all yeah, be done. a lot of potential. Mm. Once, lot of I potential. Watch, once I watch Joker, I'm still, I don't know. I Joker 2, I don't know. Only because of the musical portion. Mm, not, not a big fan. A musical. I'm hit and miss with musicals. <laughs> he said, "Bro, open that door like Big Bird." <laughs> 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 it's amazing. 
Hey, GG family of nerds. Hey, hey I'm GG. It's a great looking group of folks right there. Yeah, man. They're all gorgeous. Which movie was Cheeseburger in? I could could figure it out. Oh, The Menu. It was The Menu. The oh, The Menu. Such an yeah. underrated yeah. movie. It definitely is. Yeah, it mm. is. Oh, thank you for the um the donation, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Go check out DJ Family of Nerds. He has a Spider Verse parody song coming soon. That's going to be awesome. Yes. Yeah. He's also killing it on the gaming side. Yes, I don't know what his gaming channel name is right now, but yeah, if you probably could find it on his movie channel. But yeah, go check him out. Great family, great guy. Watcher in the Woods isn't for the fainted of heart. Wow, really? All right, I'm, I'm, okay, okay, I'm gonna watch it. Now I know. Yeah, that's all you gotta tell Toby. He's been looking for the scariest movie. If, does anybody have a suggestion? The scariest movie of all time? He's trying to be like legit scared, and he's never, he hasn't been. Everyone's failing. Um, yeah. Lights out. Lights out. Scared the crap out of me. I have seen it. It's okay. It was, uh... oh, scared me. <laughs> that's 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 you. you don't get scared. <laughs> Toby, how are you feeling about Immaculate? Um, that honestly looks great. I, uh, I need That's to see though. it. It's um fair, yeah. yeah. It's coming out uh, the third of May for me, so I'm definitely. Oh, okay. What about the that. older crazies? Do you like zombie movies? What about that one? Have you seen that one? I haven't. There's an old one. There's one. a new version, and then there's an older one. Of the crazy, it's a zombie movie. I've not seen that one. Hmm. Green Inferno. Green Inferno, that one. <laughs> Orca the Killer <laughs> Whale. <laughs> That's not amazing. scary, but a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I don't love those for my list. That is I hilarious. mean, if you want to wa watch have your childhood ruined, watch the Nickelodeon documentary. Oh no. That's yeah, too it's that yeah. whole other scary. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Spoiler kegs. Why are you spoiling me? Gifted five <laughs> Zach Attack Review memberships. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Been trying to uh, do uh, exclusive channel member live streams, so more members can make that happen. Do you think Craven's going to be like Morbius and Madame Web in tone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Unfortunately, on probably. It. Yeah. Did you see the trailer? <laughs> <laughs> he gets the powers, which he shouldn't have any powers through what uh, lion Ryan blood, really biting him and dropping blood into his wound. This is stupid as shit ever already. Yeah. Spider-Man 2, the game, really ruined that movie now. Oh, why True. you say that? Yeah. Oh, just because of Craven's development as a character on the Spider-Man game. Oh. He's going to make I don't know if you guys have played. Probably. Gotcha. Joker 2 is going to be terrible. Really? I don't think so. I, I trust I'm open. I'm open-minded to it. Look at that. D DJ Fallon has just got gifted a, a channel membership. Came in without nice. one, leaving with one. Let's see. Have you heard of Max Mad Max Wasteland? I think that was uh, starring Tom Hardy as on Letterbox. Wait, what? No. Is Tom Hardy doing a Mad Max spinoff? I didn't hear about that. Yeah, the only one that I'm aware of that he did was, uh, was Fury Road. Yeah, they talk about Watcher in the Woods in the TED series on it's on YouTube. I need to watch that. Mm -hmm. Has you guys watched the TED show? I did. Oh, yeah. I do remember yeah, I that joke now? I did. Okay, it was very I heard funny. Really funny. The episodes. It is great. It is really I love funny. It. It's yeah. the same kid. Um, the same kid that had autism on Parenthood. Um, plays the oh, main okay. character on there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Parenthood is a classic. He I said, snagged your a, um get Zach. <laughs> he said, on a scale of one to ten, what TV show are you most excited for? Uh, everyone, House of Dragon, Alkalite, Penguin TV show. Uh, I could do this real quick. Penguin. The Penguin's like a ten. Alkalite is like a four. Penguin's like a ten. Well, my my one mine that I'm watching is currently wrapping up next Sunday, so probably the Penguin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm so excited for Penguin. Can't yeah. wait. Like so I need to watch the trailer for that. I still haven't watched it. It's so good. Um, and I just even though Colin Farrell was in the Batman for like all of ten minutes, like he just made every second count. And yeah. 
you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing like this particular version of Gotham more. I'm looking forward to seeing that world be built more while I'm, while I'm waiting for the Batman part two. Um, you know, like just, just seeing Oswald Cobblepot basically rise to power. I heard there's going to be like some influence from, from Scarface, um, a lot of mobster movies, which is, you know, very apparent in, bless you, um, which is, which is very apparent in Colin Farrell's performance anyway. Um, I, I just, I just like the idea of, of, um, of, of, of him getting his own show and then expanding the universe this way. It, um, and, and, and I like, who saw the trailer? Who saw the trailer here? I saw it. I didn't. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, I, I like how they frame it with him, like, narrating, like, some monster that he grew up looking up to and kind of intercut with him basically rising to power. Look, dude, like, I'm, I'm so excited for it. It's, like, one of my most anticipated shows. It's probably my number one. Yeah. Absolutely. They need to do more stuff like that with comic book content. Mixing yeah. the genres. That makes sense. It, it lends it lends yeah. itself to TV, you know, like more, you know, think what you will of like kind of what they've been doing, like as far as the MCU goes with a lot of their shows, they've been just kind of cranking out. But I, I do like at least the idea of building, of, of expanding the universe, um, even though the 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 uh, execution and the quality has been all over the place. But I like the idea. So I, I, I but I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with the Batman. It's it's my favorite live action Batman movie. Um mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to, to to more of that universe just just being um constructed. Yeah. All right guys I, I gotta jump team off. Team I yeah. I gotta go. My time's up. But Bye, glad Zach. I could be here man. Glad I could celebrate Thank with you. you and we're gonna Thank do it real man. big when you hit that one K man. It's coming. Thank you so, so much. proud of you man. It's oh, yeah. uh, it's gonna be great. Have a good night great guys, to man. see you Zach it's oh. been a minute. You too man, yeah, man. Nice right. to see you, yeah. Zach M. Bye, Dave. Happy birthday. Have a Thank great you, one. buddy. <laughs> Yo, one man leaves and another man comes. <laughs> there he is. Hey, we got two thirds of the spoiler kings in here. Let's give it up. Yeah. If only we could get tank. If only we could get tank. The uh, grizzly has the entered baby. the building. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's What's see. up, everybody? I've been seeing and listening to you guys for the last like hour and a half. Like while I was doing work, I was like, "Oh man, this is great." <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, in terms of uh, one to ten, how excited you are for House of Dragon, Acolyte, Penguin? Uh, so I love House of Dragon and uh, Acolyte. I'm a little worried about because it should be a hundred years before the, the the episode four. It really should be thousands of years. So mm -hmm. like that time variance kind of scares me a little bit but mm -hmm. then the fact that kk is the one, the one really pushing it not caring about continuity errors and things like that scares me a lot uh gotcha. penguin understandable great mm -hmm. you know yeah. uh, unbelievable i think colin farrell is is such a good actor and everything he's in and i'm 100 percent in mm -hmm. he's really good in that role like I, i'm just looking forward to seeing more of him as, mm -hmm. as penguin you know just um my like I said, my brain is still trying to process the concept that that's him in all those prosthetics. It was, it was, it was right? incredible. Yeah, it's insane. Um, you know, like <laughs> I, just, I still can't wrap my mind around it. You um, might say it's craven time. You might say it's craven time. I <laughs> uh, get out of here. Oh, I love it. Uh, he said, "I'm making. I'm working hard on to get that Spider Verse song out this week. I've been working on it for a month. I'm ready to share it with people. Hopefully this weekend. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. for this, man. I can't wait, man." Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Gonna be awesome. Hey, Jason, Jason Entertainment, congratulations, Zach, yeah. for this achievement. Jason. Only the beginning, man. You deserve it so much. Thank you so much, man. Mm -hmm. Jason. You guys mm -hmm. excited about seeing the Spider Verse thing that drops tomorrow? The short? Yeah. The short? Well, that yeah. drops tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I hear oh, it's a cool. teaser of a teaser, so that should be interesting. So the teaser, the teaser's out right now, but the actual oh. short is supposed to be like an eight minute short or something like that. It comes tomorrow. Yeah, I heard it was eight minutes. Yeah. Was that that fan be... made film? No, it's from oh. Sony Pictures Animation. It's legit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got the two confused then. The fan made film is supposed to be coming out soon, but it's not. I don't think it's Miles. It's Peter. Yeah. It's yeah. like a horror version it's of, Peter. of Peter. A horror version? Yep. Yeah. Starring is that that Chandler short? Riggs. Chandler Riggs. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Glad to see Beautiful I'm Squad with you. I'm Great to see Brand Man, Dave, OG Zach, T. Par OG Zach. Not me joking. Uh, tea party. 
<laughs> Toby a K-pop queen. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, hey, Spoiler Kings gave it to collect the movie, man. Nice. Yeah. I'm glad you nice. guys yep. got it. I got a membership, too, apparently. Nice. I, I got one, Thank too. I snagged it for... Have you heard about the next Lego movie? They're going to be a documentary of Pharrell Williams? Whoa. What? They're doing a documentary that. in Lego style? That sounds amazing. So it's come out I this October? About that. That's hmm. artistic enough for Pharrell. That makes a lot of yeah. sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That should be interesting. Well, I mean, yeah, he's always. pretty artistic. That Happy makes a lot day. of sense. Bro. Sully Streets, congrats hey. for three years. Head of the big release this week. Are you a Godzilla guy or a Kong guy? I'm a Kong guy through and through. I'm a Godzilla guy. I grew up mm. on the big the big green, the big monster. Um, yeah, he's just awesome, man. He just knocked out Superman. Can't Kong can't do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait till he has the infinity gaunt- the infinity gauntlet on it. Uh, right. <laughs> I, just, I, I thought I, Transformer I, was about to pop out in that trailer. I was like, are we doing the crossover? Yeah. <laughs> I I am I'm I'm waiting for the explanation as as to what he's doing with the power glove. And oh, you know like, wh- why going on? Yeah. Why he has a power glove and, and, and why Godzilla is, is Super Saiyan Rose in the trailers. <laughs> <laughs> you need that uh, those uh, stone bottles. Yes, you guys will drink in in my in my passage because I don't drink alcohol. So I guess I'll get some like apple cider. Yeah, we get some juice. There you go. Right. <laughs> you can get some, you can get some I, I, juice. You can get the spark. You can get the sparkling cider from Welch's. That stuff's yeah. delicious. Yeah. Ah, uh, thanks, Kyle Deli. Appreciate you dropping in. All right, so I was showing off my game collection. I guess we, we, we can talk about it if you guys know any of these games. I'm in the GameCube era, so I'm still, uh-huh. still a little far back. So where, where's my going now? The GameCube uh, era. GameCube era. You know, a little Mega Man Battle Network. Yeah. Which, one of my favorite yep, games. I of had all that time. game. So, so good. Mm-hmm. Um, it was hard as shit, but <laughs> <laughs> love this game. Try Elden Ring. Yeah. Do you guys know about this, Geist? I am scared to get Elden Ring. (laughs) I've heard of Geist. Elden Ring? Oh, man. I I I have it and... Try it. Because I don't play hard games. And I was like, no, you know what? I just don't want to break my controllers. That's why. (laughs) I'm good. I I played one hour. I quit. (laughs) (laughs) That that makes sense. Hopefully it's good. Splinter Cell? Splinter Cell. Oh, my God. They need to make a new game and stop being annoying, Ubisoft. they do. Right. Stop Stop being babies. uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid's not really coming out anymore. They need to take Mm -hmm. advantage of it. Because it was always competing with Metal Gear Solid. It couldn't. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid's so big and weird. That and we need a new Watch Dogs game. That's being a movie, too. Mm, Yeah. We're getting a a Watch Dogs. Aren't they casting? Didn't they cast? Aren't they, didn't they cast someone for Watch Dogs? Recently? I don't know. I think yeah, they I said it was would. an early development. Mm-hmm. Nice. This came with the GameCube. Oh, I love it. Ooh, the Legend Zelda. of Zelda Collector's Edition. Hey, bro, uh, nice. we were just talking about that. Zelda, say, first of all, Zelda, the two, um, 1986 version was like my yeah. first ever video game and mm. the greatest thing of all time. Like, I mean, Zelda is just <laughs> perfect fantasy, perfect like adventure going through. Yeah. I mean, just actually. Traveling through the world, I, I love Zelda. Yeah. You guys, ready I for a hot it. take? Oh boy! Oh, oh, oh yeah. This might make me a bad Nintendo fan, but I could never get into Zelda. That's fair. Well, I, just, no, I'm, I think you have Zelda fans, you have Mario fans, so I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm more with There's the Italian like plumber, anyways. Mario. There's some people that like um, the platform games more than like the adventure games of Nintendo, so that makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're moving on from uh, what was that? The we did a GameCube, oh. we're gonna go to the 360. Yeah, I had an Xbox, and obviously, I had a basketball game because you know, I love basketball. So it didn't burn up and then uh, catch on fire in your, in your sock drawer. Oh, my my 360 got the red, let uh, red uh, lights of doom and died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I ain't gonna lie, some of these games are not even open because I didn't even get to play them like this. I got the long I actually... edit. Collector's edition and then my roommate in college it, it it caught on fire while he was gone and it was a fire that broke out in his sock drawer and I had to go in and like save everything. It oh, was wow. oh my god. Ridiculous. That's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. It said Melee and Tales of Sif- uh, Symphonia were only two GameCube games and it was enough. 
Well, melee you can play <laughs> forever and ever, and Tales is probably like a two hundred hour RPG. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got lucky. Time. I never had the Three Rings of Death on my three sixty. Lucky you, man. I, I am it jealous. For years and yeah. then nothing ever happened. And as soon as the three sixty came out, I mean the uh, um, Xbox One, doop, 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 doop. red lights. I was so mad. It was, it was a sign, man. Zach. It was a I sign. Know. Never touch Xbox ever again. No, um, no, 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 no. Zelda no. or Castlevania. <laughs> That's fair. You should have saw that coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go to Nintendo. You got a little bit of uh, DS. Yeah. You know Ooh, what I mean? A little yes. Pokemon That's White yes. version 2. A lot of people roasted me because they were like, why didn't you get Black 2? I was like, is it, is it a racist? I'm like, no. That's the when I left Pokemon, to be honest. <laughs> That's when I fell off. Zelda uh, Link Between Worlds. Yeah. Underrated. Uh, oh, yeah. I love that I game. Love yeah, that's mm-hmm. a good one. I love that game for the DS. Kid Icarus, which I would love them to make like a... Oh, Kid Icarus. Oh. Yeah. Uprising. This was really, really good. Nintendo being Nintendo probably won't do it. No, they won't for whatever reason. And Pokemon X. This that is the game the that brought me back into the Pokemon games, actually. I think that was my last um, newish Pokemon game. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I end up going back to Pokemon during the Switch, but it was like the remakes. Mm-hmm. Um, and then oh, yeah, you... about, like the Wii, probably my favorite console of all time. Everyone had so a Wii underrated. had Wii Sports. Yes, mm-hmm. of course. That, yeah. <laughs> it came Even with, with system. it. I, I can beat all the... you on Wii Bowling. Just I think saying. in the UK it didn't come with Wii Sports, which I think that's nuts that they did that to That's them. crazy. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm so I was just talking about this game, No More Heroes. This needs to be Oof. adapted into a movie or show. There were charging motions. That was uh, interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> they got me they fun of so much. It. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tekaichi 2. Oh, okay. Probably that, that a bajillion million hours spent on this. Doing yeah. Kamehameha's with the Wiimote. <laughs> I, am, I am worried for Sparking Zero. They have a lot of hype to work on from that. Underrated adventure oh. game. Okami. Oh, Okami. If you haven't had a chance to play this, it still holds up. It's re-released on every single Nintendo console, so if you have a Switch, try it out. They remastered it. Such a great game. Obviously, it's a little bit of a Zelda ripoff, but I don't care. You get to play as a dog. It's awesome. No, I was bad with the paint the mechanics. It's 100%. <laughs> yeah. No More Heroes 2. Just love this. Mm-hmm. You know, I was young, perverted. No way, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> the Metro Prime trilogy, even though I already had the first one, I was like, let me just get the trilogy on the Wii. Uh, they remastered mm-hmm. them. I'm hoping that they do it again for the Switch. I'll buy it in a heartbeat and beat them again. You, did Speaking you of no more Wii? heroes real quick. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? No more heroes three. My camera Oh, just nice. Crashed. You got the collected edition? Yeah, I got the day one edition. Doesn't nice. come with a steel book, but well, you don't want that because you get the steel book with no game. Buying steel books for the video games. You didn't know that they only send you the code. I don't want that shit. It depends <laughs> on what game it is. I have some steel books with the games. Uh, it most, depends on the company. Yeah. Most don't mm. have like so. I think I had spy. I ordered this. the Spider Man came with a game. Um, one of the Spider Mans didn't. And I was like, Spider-Man what the two hell? didn't. It was yeah, Spider Man two. I, I was like, I, I've got that steel book too. So you know, yeah, because b- open it up. I was like, so recently, where is it? The, the whole thing came like when Spider Man one for PS four came out. They weren't doing the whole like send the this the middle this thing without the disc in it in the code. So I think it started like maybe five years ago, four years ago, where they started doing that. And I'm so mad. I mean, mm-hmm. I, don't like- I mean that oh, collector's edition man. was worth it though. Definitely what the, I have beside me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have this big Horizon Forbidden West collector edition thing, and it was definitely worth it, even though um I didn't get the disc. Like, yeah, my Dead yeah. Island 2 collector's edition oh, came Dead with Island. a steel book and a disc. Great and game. And then... Love that game. The other... Hold on, I'll show you. I'm blanking on you it. Say, here's quick. an old school PS1 game for you, Zach. Do you remember Blasto with Phil Hartman, Rest His Soul? No. I, I remember Blasto. Heard it. Yeah, it's a frustrating game. Yeah, I remember that game, Brandon. I remember mm. that game. You just, it, you some, it, it made me rage quit. 
And then Ooh, Mario and Rabbids. A... Oh, nice. That's a nice. Ste- that's a steel book. Yeah, it came with the um, game too. A whole nother copy, but this is Sparks of Hope. Nice, nice. Greatest game of all time was Fire Emblem: Path of Radiance on GameCube. We like Ike. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Have you played The Last of Us, Last of Us 2, God of War, Ghost of Shima? Yes, I've played all, yes. all of these games. I've played all of them except for Ghost of Tsushima. I tried it for like five minutes and couldn't. <laughs> oh, well, what was, was wrong? I guess I just couldn't figure it out. Okay. I kind of got yeah. it. Yeah. It has very specific mechanics. Yeah. So I get it. I cheat. I figured it out online. I, I got to go and figure out how to do it. Yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm okay. trying to enjoy the game. All right, let's go. <laughs> he said, Blasto was frustrating. I could never beat it. Yeah, you were just talking about it. Sure. Yeah. Oh, we got a joke. Why do burgers go to the gym to get bigger buns? <laughs> what a dad joke. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god. Oh, you know how to get buns of steel, obviously. Come on. <laughs> Batilia Wars 2. This was a really great uh, exclusive <laughs> game. Obviously, changed the game Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, oh yeah. I love yes. that. Yeah, I love that game. Same. Where's my uh, third one, Nintendo? Come on. Mad World. Oh, Mad World was awesome. I didn't oh, get to that one. I wanted to get to that one. I'm hoping that mm-hmm. they remake it. Or remaster it, but I'm probably not. I, I would be all it. for it. If oh, you yes. had a Wii and then have this, this. Oh my god! <laughs> Look, I love the story right mode in this. Weekends yes. on that, like just yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember you playing it on the 64. All the oh, time. No. Goldeneye. I don't want to play it on Wii. I want to play it on it where it's supposed to be played. You play on on that that weird weird ass controller. That's the only way to do it. You have to have the claw to do this. <laughs> right? That's what you do with I'm Goldeneye. Just- that's I'm trying to see if I have it because I showed it that's earlier. Funny. And I, don't know I hate it. Smash Bros. only because I suck at it. I'm not good at Smash Brothers, but I love playing it though. Well, no, but I don't know if you are friends. Love, on the Wii, I used uh-huh. to love playing Mario Kart on it. Oh, Ooh, Mario Kart. Mario oh, Kart. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. Any Nintendo system, Mario Kart, it's, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and I think we all should do what I have. What is that? Because I was like, I'm not buying more than one game for this stupid ass. Zach, answer. you bought the Wii U. Yeah, I'm a Nintendo fan. I get everything they ever put out. Even I skipped the Wii U. <laughs> did you ever play the Zach? Did you ever play this game? It's on um Nintendo um called Earthbound. It's a very old game. Yes, Earthbound's a classic. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping that they re remake it one day. I don't know what's taking. I hope so too. But now it's going like that game. If you have that game, it's going worth like millions of dollars now. Yeah, if you have a physical yeah. copy, it's, you can. Yeah, I have a physical a copy, instantly. and I have the game guide too. That book that came with it, I have that too. Nice. That's did you end up? Fun, did you end condition. up playing Gale of Darkness, Zach, or Coliseum? What's that? Pokemon Coliseum. Oh yes, yes, Pokemon Coliseum. Mm. That was on. Um... GameCube. Was it on GameCube, right? They had two yeah. games. It was Coliseum yeah, it was and GameCube. Gale. I and don't Gale, think I played, right? Yeah, I don't think I played Gale, but I played Coliseum because I was like, oh, more Pokemon Stadium. And then mm-hmm. it wasn't. And then good. they went to Battle Revolution and then we'll haven't made a new one since. I know. It makes me so sad. They did a Pokemon tournament, which was kind of similar, but it was more. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. yeah. And then unfortunately, like I said, I had the Xbox, so I had Oblivion, the, 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 the non Skyrim. The bad Halo. I decided to pick up all the. Oh man! <laughs> Dishonored. Sorry. Is actually, good. The 360 was better than the PS3 in that generation. I'm just gonna say it right now. But uh, bad. Uh, sales? Why say otherwise, buddy? I was like, hey, yeah, sales well, don't always matter. We know. I mean, house is caught on fire because of the <laughs> PS3. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah, I didn't have to worry about it. Borderlands. Borderlands is it. Yeah, I love Borderlands. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, 2K, 9. You know, a bunch of bad. Every year. (laughs) You're like me with the WWE games. I buy them every year, whether they're good or not. You just talk about Dead Island. Um, Underrated, like, uh, Call of Duty kind of game. Bad Company. I don't know if you guys Bad Company is fun. I never heard of that. I never heard of Bad Company. company. Yeah, Yeah, Battlefield, man. It was real fun. I never heard of it. 
L.A. Noir. This is a birthday gift for me. This is a strange game, but it's really good. Oh, but I've never fun, got to play yeah. that yet. I still need to try that. It's like you being on like Noir is great. But like instead of putting on Batman clothes, you're just out there just, uh, solving crimes and take So you, you're Bruce Wayne instead of Batman? <laughs> yeah, but he's actually doing the job Basically. without putting on a suit. Yeah, interesting. So Basically guys... LA confidential the game. Yeah. If you you guys want an it? underrated oh, Bioshock. Me and my so sister not... lost hours and hours of that game just of our lives play Bioshock. And we're getting a movie. Have you guys mm-hmm. played Murdered Soul Suspect? Yeah, that's an not... underrated detective game. I wish they made another one, man. Yeah, it didn't do it's well, anno- though. Yeah, nobody bought it, which was annoying, but hey, you know. The one wrestling game I... <laughs> that's <on> 360. <laughs> My favorite wrestler of all time, CM Punk, so I'll always keep it. Hey, that's the best one to own. Yeah. I guess 2K14 was good, but afterwards, yeah. yeah. It started. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And then AEW tried, and it was garbage, so... <laughs> Atrocious season pass. I can't believe they get away with that crap. Also, if you guys play Last of Us 2, where do you think they'll kill off the character that I'm talking about in part? Oh. Everybody here played the game? Yeah. So. Yep. No? Yep. Okay. I'm not going to spoil it for Katie. Okay. Toby, go okay. play the game and then. Hmm? I have played it. No, oh, you Katie have? Said you didn't play oh, Katie. Yeah. So My bad. I didn't Sorry. Play it. Then, yeah, don't. Yeah. My dad never told me a shitty joke. What's the best way to get gum out of your hair? Cancer. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh. Um. Woo! Ah. That's dark. <laughs> okay then. I was gonna say cut, cut it. Like, like I had to cut my hair because I got gum in it before. I escalated. No, but I he mean, went. The other way works. Too. We're <laughs> going to. <laughs> That's the typical way. I never understood the battle games where you stand there and attack, then your opponent attacks, then you attack. I never understand where the fun is that <laughs> on the attack games. So you, are you talking? Is he talking about like RPGs, the turn-based games? Yeah, like Fire Emblem, and I think like Mario RPG and stuff like that. I think it's the the strategy of it. You're saying like the South really Paul like game. It. Yeah, he like said the South Paul games Park like that. Game. Oh, oh yeah, the South- turn-based games. Oh yeah, that new sorry, one that I just came South out. Paul. I read that wrong. My dyslexia. Sorry read that wrong. No worries. We're all good. All good. We're all good. I, I butcher things you. nine times out of ten anyways, Katie, so you're fine. <laughs> well, I'm now tired of the generation where I, like, I'm, started, like, I'm starting to get games. tired. I've been looking at numbers all day. Tired. Oh, mm-hmm. I can understand that. I have two at work. Yeah. Where we're not where we need to be in budget. <laughs> you guys need to work harder. We're not hitting our quotas. Shut up, boss. Uh, well, I'm the boss, but I didn't yeah. do eight business plans for each well, restaurant. I'm the boss, too. I'm the boss Sorry, Grizzly. <laughs> Can't say shut up I'm myself. I'm the boss, too, at work. So, but today was truck day, and then and then I had to uh, do numbers for the schedule and stuff. So. Oh, I hate schedule. That's why I, I used to the I truck man. It was good doing it, but not having to do numbers. I could not imagine doing inventory. My regional manager was like, you need to have start the week off with 529 patients. And I'm like, we have never even hit 480 patients and I've been here since June. Why do you think I would be 520 or 30 people? I would be like, all right, boss, you show me how to do it then. You get us that number. There are 100 people this week. They're supposed to be seeing 70 a piece. (laughs) Jeez. What are you talking about? They're like, oh, you have space there. I'm like, that 20 minute space in between three people coming in at seven and then seven people coming in at this time? No, we do not have space. We still didn't have tables so people could treat. I'm like, I don't know. They're crazy. (laughs) They're just like, pack them all in and then figure it out. I'm like, no, no. Right. Good. Too many people coughing and sneezing. I'm good. (laughs) Right. Exactly. Persona 5. Uh, I started this. And I just stopped. Mm. I couldn't. Um, it was too like anime for me. I don't know why. Another franchise I am intimidated of getting into. God of War. We were just talking about God that. War. Great game. Let's go. Yes, the, the game. One. Game that should have won game of the year, but no, Elden Ring mm. had to win. All right, guys, I'm gonna mm. get off here. My my screen's like Lady. lagging. Thank you for I'll be down in the live chat. stream. Alrighty. You're welcome. Congratulations, Zach. Thanks for yes. letting me come hang out with you guys for a little oh, bit. Of course. I'll be done with that. All right. Yeah. Alrighty, Katie. Talk to you. All right.
Thanks That's for popping in. Bye. I just want to show my favorite video game of all time one more time. Horizon Zero Dawn. Love this. If you haven't played it. You know what? My favorite is? What? What's that? God of War. Oh, that's a nice Oh, that statue. looks nice. That's a beautiful statue. <laughs> and God of War, of course. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I had Spider to get to Well, Spider-Man 1. It's a great game. Yeah. That's fun. I don't mm -hmm. know Spider about... 2 is fun, too. Yeah. Spider-Man Spider 2. Spider love. And I probably spent way too many hours on this game, but Destiny. Oh, I still need to play that one. I was like a bajillion hours just doing dying. <laughs> And a Last Guardian. This game is janky as hell. Oh, but I the love story that story. Is so impactful. Insane. I can never finish that. I own that once. Yeah. I know you just went through all those games. You didn't have not one Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, you missed it. I had Final Fantasy Nine. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And I have a, I have a I have Final Fantasy 15 for okay. PS5. Um, but it's like all the way over there. So I have like Wolfenstein 2, Days on, Wolfenstein 2, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy game. Oh, the Guardians game is fun. That was free online. I love it. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Days nice. Gone. Uh, what else? No Man's Sky. Oh, No Man's Sky is great. Yeah, Borderlands 3. So I haven't beat that one nice. yet. Yeah, Borderlands is a, is a no one. Yeah. yeah, I'm so surprised no one said Borderlands uh, for the most anticipated thing. Because I'm oh, really yeah. excited about it. The trailer. Yeah. I'm like, eh. yeah I, I don't it think could be part. fun, but I'm the sorry. casting for me is kind of yeah. strange. Yeah. The Kevin Hart. Like, really yeah. Kevin Hart is Lilith. Or not Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is Roland. Kate Blanchett, even as much as I've always loved her. She's kind of a weird choice for Lilith because Lilith was a young woman. Yeah, and Kate <laughs> yeah. is like fifty. So I was like, yeah. "What?" <laughs> no, 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 no disrespect. You know, she looks great, but yeah, like Lilith like, is supposed 50, to be like I'm still saying she's supposed yeah. to be like twenty three. Jack so, like, Black, that's... though. Yeah, Jack, Jack Black, Black is cap as Clap Trap <laughs> is is the best casting in the movie. Hey, yeah, yeah. Honestly, maybe we'll get a new heart as Clap Trap, but maybe yeah. we'll get a new okay. song out of Mister Black. Imagine. <laughs> Can he top peaches? I mean, <laughs> hit me, baby, one more time was pretty good. His redo yeah. of that. He said, I told my baby. I actually like that one a lot more than I expected to. It's <laughs> <laughs> my lonely night. I'm going to stop. <laughs> he said, you get the Lego movie, too, as on the PS4, but thought it was on, on the Blu-ray. Oh, yeah. they It was one of those things that you get with the PS4 itself yeah. when you bought it. I just have a quick question for everyone. Who is in Zach's stream? How old is everyone? Oh, I don't know. Is everyone comfortable with that? Yeah. Uh, I'm that's Shut up. I don't I'll know tell how, you much. how old you are. I'll tell <laughs> don't, you. Don't, don't, you either don't do it or you spread, don't, 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 don't spread my business. I'll tell in a second. Right, okay. Don't I'll spread my it. business. <laughs> Y'all want to know what's going on? I got that too. You don't want it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no comment, collector. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's almost thirty-nine. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm not spreading my age. He that's, is almost thirty-nine. That's that's that's, that's, that's what it is. That's, that's true. Act on crack because he looked great for thirty-nine. Yeah. I just hit thirty-one, so. Oh, yeah. That's none of your business, collector. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> I'm 38. He's almost 38. That's why he's older than me. So that's it. So am I the youngest so, one? Toby's in here, like, what the hell? All these old men. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I'm 31 looking like I'm 20. So, okay. Yeah. Fair. When you said that you turned 31, I was like, where? <laughs> <laughs> where? I do you want to know <laughs> my age for you? <laughs> what do you want to know my age for, you weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm 16, turning 17 this year. So. <laughs> wow, I was 16 22 years ago. <laughs> Almost 23 years ago. I'm 39, like in June. <laughs> Like a whole baby, like a whole adult in college. <laughs>
Jesus. <laughs> Damn, I don't even want to do that mask. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I say, hey, me, me and him are almost 40. That's that's what yeah. it is. Damn. You guys don't look 40, so that's good at least. Not at all. Hey. As you say, black don't crack. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> My coworker would say, like, back in your day, did you have metal dumpsters? I was like, first of all, let's fix this whole sentence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? <laughs> don't ever say back in my day to me. <laughs> <laughs> because that's just disrespectful. <laughs> it's just, yeah. <laughs> how about this? Like, for it was 10 years before we had home internet when I was born. Like, I was 10 years old before Windows 95 came out. Like, when we used computers, wow. they were like, you know, DOS. Like, I had to learn how to code write <laughs> to be able to play using computers. So, I was like three yeah. years old when Windows <laughs> came out. I was in school. I used to work with floppy dicks, uh, disk. <laughs> floppy dicks, she said. <laughs> floppy dicks. What did he say? What do you what do you, 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 you stop over there doing? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the floppy dicks. Whoa! Oh man, Jesus. too much. I was looking to say if I had a whoa Melly sound effect, but I don't. <laughs> and um, oh, and the baby says we uh we babies because he's forty. <laughs> he's forty three. Oh, that's why he be dude. coming at me for movie stuff. Man's ancient. <laughs> I've seen every single movie that ever come out. Ancient. <laughs> <laughs> I will say knowledgeable, years. not ancient. <laughs> He's I'm just messing with Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> you guys keep, keep, keep laughing with that shake weight uh. joke. <laughs> the shake weight. <laughs> <laughs> the correct way is this. Oh, I, bet. I don't know what they were thinking with that shake weight stuff. That was a terrible idea. Yeah. Oh, That's man. one of my best <laughs> of, uh, of Thor, Ragnarok. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, can I share the screen with as many people on here? Let me see. Yeah, you can. Okay. I've done it with seven. What did it look like? Hey, the Q&A's in his face. Let me move that. <laughs> there you are. All right, let's play a little game. You guys can play along with us. Can you guess who the celebrity is just based off their eyes? Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, yeah. Oh. Too easy. Two. Let me see if we could do it without showing the yeah. choices. Who is this? Miles Teller. Okay, yeah. no mind. God damn it. You guys are too good. <laughs> We've been around for about around the block for a while. Oh, that's true. We've seen it all. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um Harry Styles. Harry yeah, Styles. Harry yeah. Styles is exactly where I was gonna go too. You guys one direction fans? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me actually Miles Teller. Oh yeah. Yeah, what was the other person? Angie Jolie. All right. Yeah, everybody knows Angie's Lena eyes. Like everyone knows that. Harry Styles. Who I bet they put John Krasinski. That doesn't look like it could be him at all. No, nothing like him. <laughs> Is that Lady Gaga? <laughs> He's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> um, I don't think I know that one. Go. What are the choices? Uh... I'm gonna go Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, yeah. Looks like a Swifty. I don't know. Oh, that yeah. is just yeah. a Swifty. He's like, no, no, she's too, she's too young for me. I don't know this. <laughs> Back in my day, Scarlett oh. Johansson. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would recognize that face anywhere. That sounded weird. Uh, Scarlett <laughs> Johansson. Yeah, Leo. Uh, yeah. That's DiCaprio. That's yeah. too easy. <laughs> Shut him, Tatum. All the Chanted ones are absolutely ridiculous. Oh, come on. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin That's Kevin Harvey. Hart. Come on. <laughs> Way too easy. Will, Will Smith. Why is Steve Harvey in this? <laughs> that looks Jada nothing Smith like Steve Harvey. Oh, We're seven man. for seven. <laughs> oh. Wait, oh whoa. How do I put everybody back? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Where are we? Wait, no. Oh, I should have did it like this. That, that works. Better. There we go. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I never had this many people on. <laughs> Gaga has brown eyes. You're right, Mama oh, Bear. You're right. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson, Taylor Swift. Okay, you guys knew too. Well, this was fun, guys. I appreciate you all being on here. Um, 900 subs, three years on YouTube. 
on the road to a thousand and monetization soon. Uh, hopefully, another big movie comes out that no one wants to review, so I can review it and get a bunch of stuff for it. Because that was happening with the Magical Negro movie, <laughs> dude. The big YouTubers did not want to touch that movie at all. Nope. Oh my god. I mean, honestly, I didn't even want to touch it. I could have ripped it a new one, but I'm like, I don't think I should be touching that movie. So I'm just gonna pass. Yeah. Um. So yeah, only us like trash. You actually do that. That's. What, <laughs> but you and Kenny, big killing. Kenny got like 260 people off. Uh, then he got 15k off. on that video. I'm like, geez, Kenny, no, you big at, dog. Over 20k right now. Holy. Sh- Okay yeah. then. He, it was he went so from like, good. Am I going to be monetized? To, oh, I'm monetized. He <laughs> 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 complained. I don't know if I can do this, and then all of a sudden, done it all. So <laughs> that's all it takes. Just though. one, but it also humbles you. And we were talking about this in terms of like getting subscribers. He got twenty thousand views on that, and only it's not only, but like only two hundred of those people sucked. Yeah. So you got to think about how many views you got to get just to get two hundred people. To yeah. Send to you. That's, so that's always keep is. that in mind, and when you're making a video, and it, you don't like why is no one subbing? Is like it takes a lot of views to get subs. We're at four hundred thirty thousand views or something like that, mm-hmm. and only at you know thirteen seventy five subs. So like, it yeah. takes a lot of hours to to really get anyone, um, especially to get them c- c- consistently coming back. It's hard yeah. and it's, it's frustrating. And that's why you need to have a community because as you do it, you're going to go through ups and downs when you're like, am I really trying to do this? Am I, why am I doing this to myself? And then you realize it's because I love to do it. And yeah. someone else talks to you and it's like, hey, you know, I was just there. Promise you, you're going to get, you don't get, and that's, you need that conversation. You need that talking between everyone. And um, that's important. It really is, especially when the small creators, you, you get frustrated, but. Know that air is light at the end of the tunnel. It is. You know, one of the best conversations I ever had. So I'll get. Hold on, Dave. One of the best conversations I ever had was with Brian. That's why I really want to say it real quick. Is because I think I was at, I don't know, 400, 500 subs. I was like, damn, man, this is rough. I don't know if I could do this. He said, slow down. He said, we were there. And then next thing we were at 600. The next thing we were at 700. The next thing went to a nine. And then it stalled a little bit. And then now we're at 13. So it's like it takes time. And and like e- like a couple months later, I jumped in subs because something hit. And um, yeah, it's the same thing. But like Dave Show, you were talking about like a conversation you had. Yeah, well, remember when I was talking with you and Kenny about after the whole Dune thing, I was about to pull the plug. Yeah. Now look at me. I'm in an awesome community. I'm in an awesome Discord. I'm having the best run right now ever. Yeah. Just to think if I would have been like, I'm done. All oh, that would have been gone. Yeah, and remember that you're doing this because you love it. You love yeah. love watching movies. You love watching TV yeah. shows. You love doing these, playing these games. This is what you do. People ask me like, "Why do I collect all these comic books?" Because that's what I like to do. Yeah. <laughs> that's, You'll be doing it anyway. Exactly. So. so me sharing my information, sharing what I think about things, doesn't matter. It's, it's just your opinion, and you're sharing your opinion with everyone else. And some people like it, some people don't. And we all can have opinions. And it's fine. Like I me, mean, Zach has likes likes movies all the time. And I'm like, really? <laughs> but, <laughs> man, like, wow, our first man, couple I'm meetings, fine. I was like, I'm gonna fight this dude. <laughs> like, feet and 230 pounds, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hug him because <laughs> he's gonna kill me. <laughs> That's why I like Brand Man because he's always ha- making me think. I'm always learning. This is a new challenge for me, so. I yeah, enjoy having man. people who know more than me, so I'm constantly learning. Yeah, it's funny it's when I first met Brandman. Um, like we worked at a movie, a video store. It's called mm-hmm. uh, Family Video, and we Family Video, and we Family just video. watched all these old movies all the time, and we talked about all this stuff. And then he he just he retains knowledge on like directors and uh, score and all that stuff. He just retains it really really well. You know, I, as much as I can know the movie. But he knows all the the details of it, and it's it's yeah. so wonderful to be able to talk about the things you want to talk about with someone who has knowledge like that. So, you know, that's why I, I had to have B come and join us. So that was that was fun. Yeah, and which is a great honor. I by the way, call him one of the hardest working people on YouTube. He reviews 
everything. He he <laughs> makes me mad because I I want to throw a review out and perp, perp, I, I'm doing out of uh, screen review. You know, out right the movie. I'm in the theater doing a the review and Perp already has a video that he already edited. <laughs> it's already published. That Made the it. thumbnail graphics. How? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, How is this possible? I just walked out of the theater. That happens to me all the time. I'm like, I finished the movie. I'm like, yeah. And I go on YouTube and I perp mind your review. I'm like, what? <laughs> this movie just came out. <laughs> how did you like, get this I went to the theater to do a no, review? How did you already do a review? <laughs> <laughs> this man, hard. And he's right, though. He, you know, he's re- he works really hard. Um, he puts out a lot of content. He gives you well thought out reviews. And like one thing you're gonna know with Perp, he's gonna give you how he feels, <laughs> and you're gonna yeah. know he's trash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or he's like, this is interesting. Or like he gives you, he backs it up. But he said the struggles definitely be struggling and doesn't get easier. That's the thing. The bigger you get, the harder it gets. You think you're having it hard right now? <laughs> when you actually need to like worry about uh, monetization in terms of like them like taking videos like i got a notification oh you're demonetized pearl and i'm like what pearl yeah. came out three years ago yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why are you even looking at that but it, it's just something that's going to happen you got to work around it so yeah. yeah it does definitely does not get and, easier but also know that you can contest this stuff it's important yes. to know that you sh- and you should everything anyone anything you gonna do in universal is going to be taken away they're going they're going to try to get it you should contest everything all the yeah. time yeah, Prime Video uh, claimed my Roadhouse review, and I was like, nope, copy paste that the Spoiler Kings manuscript, put that bad oil on there, woke up in the morning, released. There you go. <laughs> like, just, no, no, like, no, no, no. just like with my Rebel Moon trailer reaction, I know I messed up. I did something wrong. It got copyrighted, but I didn't feel like trying to mess with it because when I was going through the steps, it's like, this could potentially ban you forever. I'm like, nope. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to leave it. It's not affecting me. Nothing's bad's going on with it. We're just going to leave it there. Not I feel you. Not taking that but, risk. But the only usually thing you have to worry it, about is appeals. Yeah. When when you do a cop when it's a copyright um not strike, but uh what is it called? What's the other one? The copyright um claim whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, when it's a claim and then you just say, "Hey, no, like I have fair use to this." They if they deny it, that's it. Like at least yeah, you try. Leave it alone. Yeah. Leave it alone. Yeah, yeah but don't mm-hmm. appeal. <laughs> But so, yeah. depending on who you do it, like, so Universal is one of those things you don't you don't even deal with. Universal is not yeah. going to say okay, but uh, if you're doing Prime, you're doing uh, Netflix. A lot yeah. of times, they within 28 days they will release it, and you'll get your monetization money back. So they'll um, add Disney back to too. You. I don't Disney, really Disney, get yes, copyrighted yeah. hard on Disney. Netflix usually either doesn't do it, or if they do it, it's because the product is owned by someone else. Mm-hmm. Like they're not, they have to do it because somebody else is in partner with them. But That's most of the time I react to a Netflix ones. trailer, they don't do anything about it. They, they know it's free advertisement. Exactly. Which I don't understand why Warner Brothers and Universal don't understand we're f- advertising your thing for free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mine was for like the music for the trailer, but it said it's just the music, nothing wrong with it. I didn't do anything wrong. It was just for fr- fair use and like, okay, cool. It's not going to do anything. We'll music just leave is it tricky. Then. Music is definitely tricky. When they use yeah. like a licensed yeah. song, it's really hard to, to fight that one. Anytime I hear a rock song in a trailer, I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you use our original score? <laughs> People try to get smart and pause it a little bit. Pause yeah. play or, you know, or mute it for a second or whatever. Because you break it up to say that it's not it's not the original or everything. So you've made, you've changed something to it. So I mean there's yeah. ways around things, you know. Like, yeah. I mean, I could have turned it all the way down, but I still feel like it would have gotten me either way because it was, like, between the first 33 seconds to, like, the minute of me reacting, so... Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't... It would it, Yeah, it would have got me either way, so I'm like, okay. Say okay. Say okay. Yeah, yeah. Like it is what it is. Well, Luke Ponto is in the live Luke's stream. in the he house. Be jumping in. Congrats on Ninja Subs. Me and him are going to be working together on this channel. He's going to be doing a Movies That Made Us uh, video. That's going to be real fun. Oh, well, change the name to Movies That Made You because I don't want Netflix beef. Um, <laughs> we just uh, had fun doing a Meg watch along yesterday, me and Luke did. Yeah, if you love watch alongs, go to Luke Ponto's channel. He's doing them like two, three times a week, and they're real fun. It's like a party he's the, in there, honestly. He's the, he's the king of watch alongs. King watch along. Hey, that should be your tagline King watch along. <laughs> 
Does everyone on the stream have an Instagram account? Because I would like to add you guys if you don't. Yes, Mine. we definitely do. Swirly Kings definitely. Yep. I do. Yeah. Mine's mine's just Dave's show. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these That's two are spoiler kings. Well, he can't see what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> the, those two are spoiler kings. Um, he's Dave's show. And uh Toby, do you have a, a, a Instagram for your YouTube? I do. I mean, yeah, just dark movies, I guess. Yeah. Yep. And it's uh dark with an X, right? Instead of A. Yeah. Yep. I stand corrected. Mine is Mine's really weird because Instagram likes to be weird. It's the yeah. underscore Dave underscore show and then one. Yeah. Like, Somebody probably did Dave right. show already. <laughs> look, at, look at all those people popping out the woodwork. Preston. What's up, man? Hope school's doing well for you. Congrats, Zach, on three years. Great to learn from you, Zach. Appreciate you. Wish you all well yeah. next three years. I appreciate that, man. Steph. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the next five years, Zach's going to be bigger than life. Oh, don't do that. We're going to wake <laughs> up and Zach's going to be at 5K. I'm like, what happened? I can think you do that. Hey, yeah, per the time, dude, I don't understand, man. You just said you have it already, and then you come and do your stuff, and you hit send. Like, it's it, it's instantaneous. <laughs> like, the movie hasn't even come out yet. And then Perp, but Perp also sees movies early, so he has his yeah. reviews before we even get an opportunity. I'm like, hey, I'm going to watch this movie on Wednesday. And Perp already has it done. I'm furious like how i see a part review before chris stuckman and jeremy jones i'm like bro these are professionals <laughs> they, they, get the home. they don't even go to the theater how do you do it <laughs> listen right. perp's got agents okay he, he doesn't yeah. want to say it but he's got agents exactly. <laughs> appeals are brutal you can get the video back but they'll make you wait facts mm -hmm. They will make exactly. you wait a long time. Sometimes they'll make you wait and then still say, "Nah, we're still taking it." Like, they'll give you the whole twenty-eight days, and then they're like, "Nah, whatever." And you waited an entire month. He said, "That's why I try to do the bare minimum with certain things because you, you, because YouTube doesn't like YouTube doesn't like me doing different things." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, depends. I know you. Why does Universal ideas, love bro. copy claiming everything? I don't know. That's a great question. Every time you have a MonsterVerse thing or anything, you, you're sitting there watching it like, ah, I want to watch this trailer, but I know it's about to be copyright claimed. <laughs> That's why I did the first Godzilla Kong New Empire trailer. I didn't react to anything else. I was like, I'm good. Because yeah. it's diminishing returns the more trailers you get. And I'm not, it doesn't make any sense to, to do it if I'm just going to get copyrighted all the time. It's funny. I've noticed that game trailers, they don't do that as much to people when it comes to movie trailers. Because the video game industry understands the fans advertising the game is the best advertising. We do not have to pay for that. Word of mouth. It, it, <laughs> it, I don't understand why the film industry doesn't understand word of mouth really works. Yeah. You know? When you have 15 small YouTubers that are all talking to 1,000 people, you just talk to 15,000 mm -hmm. people that you didn't have to do anything for. And then they're in smaller communities, so they're all going to listen. So they're all going to go do it. Like It, it doesn't make any sense, but yeah. you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Sendo's the only one in the game community that be acting up, but they're they're weird. He said yeah. the only claim I got was in a love stream because I had a video of Terry Crews singing on white chicks. <laughs> oh, live stream he meant. That's hilarious. Hey, dark room movie, dark room reviews. He said, I love hey, being part room. of the movie community. Yeah. yeah, I me too, man. It's the best yeah. thing ever. I talk to friends that are not like you guys about movies. And like, Shut up, Zach. I don't care about the cinematography. <laughs> I don't care how the sound design helped enhance the scene. It wasn't scary. <laughs> it was funny. I was I used to talk to a former coworker, right? And he's and he was like, "Dude, I don't care. You're disrespecting gaming. Nobody cares about movies anymore. Shut up." I'm like, "Oh, really?" Wow. I'm like, "Do Dude. I need to bring up numbers?" Again, numbers obviously lie, but I'm like, "Okay." No, that's the one that doesn't want to listen, so it's okay. Yeah. I'm like, "Alrighty, buddy. You think yeah. that naive-minded way?" He said, "Luke, what is your next movie watch?" You're telling that Zach will totally get 10k in no time. Don't don't put don't put my head up like that. 10k in no I know. time. Honestly, I don't so know, like, Zach. It's hard getting to one point, but I think once you get past a thousand, you're now just thinking about okay, how can I monetize this other stuff? You know, that's yeah. why you want you want to have people in your community. You want to have people that are part of your team because uh, that's really what's about now. And you can start investing in yourself, uh, buying higher, better. You know, cameras and uh, microphones and all those other things, so you can actually do more stuff. Um, yeah, but sure. you know, that's what your focus is. And watch hours, watch hours are huge. 
You get paid off your watch hours. This guy perp minded out here. I was about to wrap up and he's talking about joining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, perp. perp is awesome. Man. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, great. Every time he's like, I'm gonna stream, I'm like, it's so late. I want to join, but I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> uh and that's funny coming from us. So you know we do nine to midnight. So <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> man, it was just like I was I used to jump into spoiler kings all the time, and then I switched my job. It's like, damn, because mm-hmm. I used to do nine to five every time. So I was like, oh, I could jump into Spoiler Kings. I could do 12, wake up at uh, it's eight o'clock, go to work. I can't do that. <laughs> I got to wake up at five o'clock. If I'm at midnight, I'm going to be dying. I'm like, oh, what? We were talking about he did what one again? Oh, man, look at him. He's about to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> that was happening to me. I was up uh, late uh, editing my Roadhouse review, and I was like in the discord showing everyone how i edit and then you know mm-hmm. i'm talking stopping talking and the next thing was 12 30 i was like, oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna be dead i'm gonna pay for this <laughs> i'm gonna definitely pay for this but i had so much fun also i want to shout out a new so member of the community the net blood rolls hard nightmare she subscribed to the channel a couple weeks ago and i think it's the first time i've seen you in a live stream maybe you joined in the live stream but You've been coming on your my videos. You've been giving me legit feedback. I really appreciate it. It's always great to have someone subscribe that just comes out of nowhere and like just has conversations with you on your on your video. So I appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> and then Tank. <laughs> Speaking of the devil, the Nether does mm-hmm. suck with copyright. Yes, they do. I don't. I stay away okay. from all their stuff. Yeah, Nintendo has that old school mindset of you don't make money off of us unless we say you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm very lucky. I haven't gotten any appeals or copyright law on my YouTube account, especially with the way I do my trailer reactions. Yeah, it does it a little differently. That's it's smart, but you know, a lot of times I don't even worry about if we get copyrighted with a trailer reaction because sometimes it's about getting your name out there, getting and talking to people. So getting yeah. that, that those times and and getting even uh, harnessing and sharpening your skills and all that stuff matters more. So sometimes you don't even worry about it. You say, okay, you know, this one. Copyrighted that one is fine because you know I, I need to do this trailer reaction. It help, helps me with my skill and it's a good movie. Because once again, I'm mm-hmm. doing it for my fun, not necessarily yeah. to, to always monetize. And in the end, it yeah. helps you out. And a video that is not monetized might get you subs. You never know. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And then those people watch your other stuff and they'll help you out. So you're right. He says Zach 10K is inevitable as Brandon wearing a tank top. <laughs> <laughs> That man is always showing off the guns. <laughs> he never, he never walked on a show without a tank top on. He had one on one time, and then he actually took off the shirt midstream. I was like, "What? What are you doing?" <laughs> My favorite stream is when I popped in, and you guys are having a serious conversation, and Brandon's just folding laundry. I was like, "This is amazing." <laughs> you never know what the heck is going to be going on in their live streams. I was so right? confused. <laughs> and then you got the question, and he like pulled down some history book stuff and went straight back to folding. I was like, "This man's a." I was like, "What is he doing?" <laughs> <laughs> That's multitasking at his peak. <laughs> uh, oh man, I'm so glad to have you guys. The Chester Chester memes have changed my life. I'm looking for him in every movie. I was like, I still don't know who he is, but I'm still looking for him at all times. I remember when my shirt. crazy self last year did a shirtless review. That was Yo, fun to do, though. When I saw that thumbnail, I was like, Dave, show about the unsub. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you did. I clicked on the video and I was like, okay, he does. He he, he really has his shirt off. Okay. You lucky. I like you. This is before we were t- actually talking to each other. So I was like, you lucky. Oh, my God. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, why is this man nipples in my face right now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I promise I'm not I won't do that again. Please. That's funny. I bet you I bet you your attention was all over the place. The ladies are like, uh, the guy's like, what the hell? <laughs> An all uh, full out for that machine <laughs> review. That's what Tank said. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was for the machine, right? Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I got the concept, but it was that was wild. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. You would think Nintendo would uh, appreciate, uh, well, wouldn't have a problem with advertising. They do. They do. Yeah. Unless they it comes they, from them. They want to be yeah. It's just their culture. It's their culture and how they do things. It's crazy. He said, I have another account, and I've been on here with other one, and we're friends on Instagram, Zach. What? 
<laughs> What's your name on Instagram? Kitty <laughs> Manette. <laughs> Just out here. I, what? Networking is key to being successful. It is. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Talking to everybody. It was a dead you know. zone until I met the Spoiler Kings for me. I was speaking into an empty abyss, and I don't. I still don't remember how we met. But it's we're, wa- so we're watching because we watch oh. everything. <laughs> we literally go on YouTube. We were doing work or whatever. We, we listen to everything, and, or instead of listening to the radio, I put a YouTube on, and you know, mm-hmm. Tank do it, and we listen to anything that's going on, anything in the community, and, and we're like, oh man, Tank was like, oh, you should check this out, check check, check Zach out, and then he messaged you, and then that went from there. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's so crazy, and I was just like. Talking, talking, you guys about stuff, and you guys like telling me, like, yeah, yeah, we went through this. This is what you gotta do. And I was like, oh, finally, all these YouTube <laughs> gurus were not helping me. Oh, uh, I don't, be li- I don't, and and like that doesn't work. It's gonna be I don't crazy. like YouTube gurus. They do not help at all, no matter what they say. I mean, I don't, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to help anyone who's been already you know, where you've been in, in the same situation. You want to give knowledge. You want everyone to be successful. You, just, just because someone's successful doesn't mean you can't be successful. So why wouldn't yeah. you share the knowledge and share every, with everyone what you need to do? Yeah. I love that moment. He took his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mama Bear. <laughs> Got one fan. <laughs> Dave Show went full out for the machine review. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Know, maybe, maybe we need to do a part two of Deadpool. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Just with a dead pool mask on, no seen. clothes. Exactly. You will not be seeing me on YouTube with no shirt on ever. <laughs> I mean because of me. My wife would come out of nowhere and just snatch me. <laughs> just oh, like, what the hell you think you're doing? <laughs> come out with a whip. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> so what's everybody's favorite moment that they could think of on YouTube? No, it's been like a week. Your personal favorite movie. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. It's actually involving him. Yeah. Me? Yeah, you. You almost fell out of the seat. You fell. He fell asleep on one stream and almost fell out of the seat. He caught himself <laughs> so hard. I was dying. <laughs> so I couldn't even help it because he he was up at five o'clock in the morning. He was doing all this stuff. He was working out, and he told us he's like, "I'm really tired." And we said, okay, well, we'll be we'll on, you know, for a little bit. But you know, we get in the chat, we start talking, and Brandon was like. And they went. Yes. Yeah. All hers. Like, wait, what did you happen? Like, he just <laughs> fell out of his chair. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> I've been in some of those streets where I'm looking at brand man and like, oh, that man had a long day. <laughs> mm-hmm. He don't. He don't care what y'all talking about, right? <laughs> He's like, you know, he he holds on every time. Yeah. And that's why I, I just give respect to him because I'm like, yeah, he doesn't want to leave us hanging ever, and he's always there, no matter how he's feeling. So I just. <laughs> Hey, yeah, got to give big respect boy. to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been there sometimes. I'll be on the stream and I'm just like, "Ooh, this was a bad idea." I knew I felt oh. tired. <laughs> start, you know, moving your leg up, and you start yeah. to stomp and trying to stay away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, where's my water? <laughs> He's something to fresh me up. <laughs> I did a stream with somebody that I doesn't, I don't talk to anymore, and like he just after the stream, he just never talked to me again, and we were on there. For hours, and he was just going and going and going, and I was just like, "I'm your guest. Let me talk." <laughs> <laughs> it's twelve thirty in, in the morning. I am tired. We've been on since seven. Ooh. Oh, jeez! <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm never doing this again. I was like, early in my career, I was just happy to collab. I he never let you talk, not once. Yeah, he did. But like, he, you know, he's one of those people where like you talk. And then if you say something that he wants to expound upon or he doesn't like that you said, he just starts talking about you. Oh, okay. I think I learned from Chillmonger a lot because uh, he used to have his 33 burning questions and, and the way he did, he let everyone talk and he kept it organized. And even if you had a different opinion than he was, he always let you, you know, kind of forget your point out. And that's where I really learned like, okay, if you want to have someone on your channel, get out the way. I like them. You can say what you want to say, but highlight them as much as possible because yeah. that's the reason why you're doing it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I learned that from him too. Like offline, he spoke to me. He was like, you doing a great job. Just, you know, I'm not saying you don't do this, but make sure when you have a guest, let them go. Let them talk. 
That's why every time I have multiple guests, if there's like a topic, I try to keep it organized. I say, okay, this is the order how we talk. It, it cuts dead space because everyone knows who should be talking next. And I always put myself last because I want everybody to get it out. Yep. And I don't have to say the same things they're saying. I'll just expound and reply and stuff like that. So yeah. Chillmogger, even though you dissed me early on in the stream. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm at 5K, bum step up. I was like, how dare you? That's, that's chill, man. Come on. You yeah, know that's chill. chill. That's just him. Yeah, that's him being silly. Let's see. You guys out here talking about deleting videos off YouTube. He said, I have two favorite moments on my YouTube account. Doing a friend's trivia with Huck Morning Mug and a live stream I did with Zach talking about physical media and showing off our physical media. That was really fun. That's awesome. The Google Hangout days were some of my favorite moments. That's how I got to know everybody. Got to know to this day talking with them for six hours plus. Yeah, man. Wow, man. When you get first get to know someone and they like all the things you like, it's just, just vomiting fun. Speaking of that, the, I actually have to run because I have a show in like four minutes. <laughs> go. Do your but thing. I want to say, Zach, and honestly, 900 subs is just the tip of the iceberg. You are amazing. And the things that you're doing, the ideas you have, and the, the way you bring community together is is second to none. And I, it's, once again, you know, I love watching you. So, so that's why I, I want as many people to really understand how really, how special it is to be that type of person. And um, man, I love it. I, I honestly, I, I really do. And continue to continue to do, to do this stuff and have great success. And I'll be there. So. <laughs> Ditto. You already know. Spoiler King for life. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah. All right, man. I'll talk All to right. you later, Brian. All right. All right. All right. Is he, uh, he, you're doing the, he's doing the sports one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause I was like, why is that brand man not leaving? <laughs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta get on the sports part, cause especially as I'm like getting more and more into sports that aren't just hockey and football. Because those are a lot, or hockey, hockey, and um, and baseball. I'm sorry, especially with um, especially with like the home openers happening over here in a couple of days. So, um, yeah, I gotta get, I gotta get like back into football because like baseball is my go-to, especially in Chicago. Like, kind of living in that midpoint between um, where the Sox play and where the Cubs play. So that's like my thing, especially as it gets warmer out. You know, just just go both to Wrigleyville or where um. Or to whatever they renamed um, where the Sox play now, because they they rename that field like every three goddamn months. It feels like now. <laughs> Dar but uh, um, 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 you you know you're the only non-American here right now in a whole different country. What yeah. sports do you watch? Uh, none. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's like, I watch horror movies, damn it, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, if I really want to do sports, probably mostly mm -hmm. uh, the stereotypical uh, winter sports, skiing, mm. uh, yeah, mostly that, yeah, skiing mm -hmm. stuff like that. But I never watch sports, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's like, that's not my thing. Uh, Esports could be, you know, oh, that counts. I guess it's official yeah. now. Yeah, esports pretty cool. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Dark movie said the moment I when I gained a hundred with subs was momentous. Yeah, man, that first hundred feels so good. Yeah, usually organized on Chillmonger channel. Once he asked me a question, and everyone else answered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's usually super organized. You know, you can try to organize as much as you want, but the guests have to follow. So, you know. Yeah. He says, Zach, I have a quick question for you. When, when we, we did our live stream, did I do a good job? I hope I let you talk. Oh, yeah, yeah, No. Yeah, you definitely let me talk a lot. Um, it was more of a... The, but the thing with his live stream, it was more like a conversation. We were just going back and forth, having a conversation, and then taking in the, the live chat. So, you know? Oh, this is for Brandman. Brandman, you was a Bulls fan? Chicago and everything? Um, Yes and no. Uh. Yes, because I grew up a Bulls fan. Um, you know, like basketball is a huge thing over here. Um, but at the same time, they're kind of dead to me. Uh, and I, I, I think them and the Bears are kind of dead to me. And I think the answer to that speaks for itself. If you've seen, if you've seen them, then if you've seen a game of theirs. Got you. So I had a live stream. But, um, but no, 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 no. I, I, 
if, if the opportunity presents itself, I will go to a Bulls game, mostly mm-hmm. in a drink. But, but you know, um, not to watch the game. Just <laughs> yeah. But then that's any sports game. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, and that's, I had a live stream on my channel for our birthday. I had three people on that took over my channel by not letting me talk, so I deleted the stream off my channel. Oh, my God. I'd have been like, boop, bye, boop, bye. <laughs> yeah, you know. like, this is crazy, on my, my channel? If I may, that actually brought up a good point. That's what I should have done my very first stream when I had all those nuisances in there. Mm. taking over the whole stream and everything, I should have been, okay, guys, we're done here, and then restarted afterwards instead of allowing it to go as far as it did. But I understand if it's your first stream, you're like, I don't want this to end and or, like, mess up, I have to start over, and then if I have to bring back people in, like, I understand that. Oh, I did that today with my birthday stream. I don't know what was going on. I had to redo the thing three different times because the camera wasn't working. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, those technical issues. I understand. I'm like, no, I don't want to do this three times. <laughs> Toby, what's some of your favorite um, YouTube moments so far? Uh, um, I loved when um, I was doing that one uh, Halloween stream where I played. Mm-hmm. I went for, se- uh, I think, five hours and... Uh, I watched two movies, played games. That was loved it. Definitely, that was really fun. Um, I think uh, one of my highlights were the first thing, the first that kind of kickstarted my uh, YouTube channel, where uh, where kind of Zach uh, Mill first commented on my videos. I. Mm-hmm. I had like no one watching except for my friends and family. So that that was like people actually enjoy my content. Holy shit. What? What's on here? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that's definitely some of them. One of my favorites from you is when you did the skit for Godzilla. Uh I love that. that and one. there was another skit you did for another movie. I'm, try- I'm trying to remember which movie it was. Um uh, I feel like it was a horror film. But I just remember enjoying it. Exist. What was it? Exist. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god! I was uh, just like, "This yeah. is so great." You inspired me. I did a skit for my dream scenario review because I was like, I was inspired by what you did with your skits. Because I've always wanted to do something like that, but I was like, "Oh, I can't get it done. I don't have all the fancy stuff." And then you did a cinematic masterpiece without the fancy stuff. So I was like, "Why not try to do it?" <laughs> I don't know if it was a cinematic masterpiece, but I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. Uh, let's see. Mama Bear says I I'm talked over a lot. Well, Mama Bear, whenever I have you on the channel, I won't talk over you. It's not fair. Yeah. Toby, I'm loving that yellow mask. What is that? What do you think? Oh, I know what that is. That's terrifier. That's their uh, fire. Nice. Yeah. It, is, it is white, but uh, I guess my... Uh, yeah, like, Michael Myers next to it. Hell yeah. Nice. I don't think I've seen that color of art before. Uh, yeah, it is white, but I think just the camera makes it yellow for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's probably the lighting in the camera is making yeah. it look yellowish, but it's just funny because Michael Myers is right next to him. It's, it's just pure white. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Myers, you don't know what my mask look like. I don't care what's going on in this room. <laughs> I don't care about Art the Clown. I'm the OG. Get out of here. Wow. He is OG. <laughs> uh, when I get to 100 subs, I will definitely have you on Zach, Spoiler Kings if they want, and Kenny Sparks. I'll definitely try to get my guy Huck. Hey, let me know, man. That should be fun. I'm excited for you. Cool. <laughs> Maxwell King, what's up, man? How are you doing? Hope you're having a great night. What about you, um, Brand Man? What's some of your favorite moments you can think about so far on your YouTube journey? On our YouTube journey, um, it's a really good question. I should have thought about that a little harder. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, honestly, um, I know this is the easy way out, but when you were on last week in our reaction to Sasquatch Sunset, <laughs> that was amazing. Huh? You were like this on that. 
<laughs> that movie's gonna be so wild. It is. Oh man, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Because <laughs> I, I, that, that's coming, and they did it. <laughs> I think the buildup. I think that's what made that great. Like the buildup, because you and I exit knew exactly what was about to happen, <laughs> and Brian and Tank were just were were just confused as to as to why we were giggling so hard and trying to muffle our laughter. <laughs> I'd say that one. And then immediately it was like, poof, 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 and their faces mm. like, and we just start busting out laughing. <laughs> oh man, that movie's gonna be a trip. Yeah, the movie's like, gonna be a trip. I can't, I can't, I can't wait to see it in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, it's coming out next month, right? Yep, April twelfth, if I'm not mistaken. Or it might be a limited release April twelfth, and then the nationwide release April nineteenth, a week later. Probably. Is Toby Summer. the one that did the singing review style? Am I remembering that correctly? No, that's that's nope. DJ. DJ. <laughs> Toby, <laughs> Toby doesn't sing. No, oh, no, 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 Duncan. At least not on that. camera. No, 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 never. Uh, uh-uh. I did actually do. I got a sp- inspired a bit, so I wanted just to try it. I and I was like, I backed out. I created everything for an intro, and I was like, nope, that that is will never go to the public. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's gonna be in my archives. <laughs> yep. Just like I tried to do with three different intros for my Immaculate review, got through two, and I'm like, nope, we're sticking with the first. I'm not doing any more after that. I hear that. <laughs> uh, Maxwell King is somebody I connected with over on Instagram, does straight-up horror content, so dark, you know, Toby, you might guys might be able to connect because that's your thing. I'm in part minded too. But uh, right. he's our review horror movies on my channel. Would love, totally love to clap sometime. Definitely, man. You know, we were talking about. Um, he was asking me if watching Imaginary in theaters was worth it because I saw it before him, and I was like, "Don't go." <laughs> <laughs> I like that movie more than most, but I can't tell hey. anyone to go to the theaters to watch it. <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, Nor- uh, Norway didn't even play it. You know where I was <laughs> the streaming. You know. Wow. Yeah. Brandy, uh, Brandy, Brandon had looked like a kid in a candy store when he watched it. He really did. He was so excited. <laughs> oh man! I exactly. couldn't wait to see what, what what Brian and Tank's reactions were. <laughs> oh, it was because I because I already know Brandon was gonna. I mean, Brian was gonna be like, "Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you guys got me watching?" <laughs> Brandon Davis said, "Toby, where are you located at?" Norway. In the cool. country of Norway. If you don't know, it's next to Sweden. People you know, what basically, time is it right now? Uh, <clears throat> um, 3.08 a.m. Do you have school? Damn! No. Oh, okay. okay. That's fine. <laughs> you can stay up as long as you want. <laughs> you can stay up as long as you want. <laughs> oh, man, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. I can't believe Maxwell does horror because that pick is make, making him look Jim Jones style. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a dope pick. What movies are everyone looking forward to in April? I have two movies I'm looking forward to seeing in April. Uh, what is coming out in April? Uh, Abigail. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. Um, Sasquatch Sunset. I'd say oh, those yeah. are probably my two. Um, Civil War. Think what else was it? Civil War. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Ministry on Gentlemanly Warfare. Mm-hmm. Monkey Man. Monkey Man. Monkey Man. Monkey Man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else? So a couple on? solid looking ones coming out. Yes, yeah, a couple solid ones. I think um, we have a new uh, Sam Jack movie called Damage. I heard that looks good. We the full guy. Uh, we are unfortunately. Oh wait, is Fall Guy February? Uh, I think, that, I think that's in May, right? Oh, yeah, that's it's day. coming out. It's actually coming out uh, April for me. Oh, oh cool. nice! Wow. Oh, the first Omen. Uh, first I know some Omen. people aren't big on that one. Um, mm-hmm. Rebel Moon Part Two, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see what else. I think that's me. It for like big Challengers. films. Challengers, yeah. yeah. And there's some Indian films coming out. Some um. Holly, uh, Bollywood and um, t- uh, Tamil films coming out. I want to see one of those in theaters because I saw RR on Netflix and that was such an amazing experience. And yes. I really wish I could see it in theaters, even though it's long. 
Yeah. But it doesn't feel long because it was done so well. Yeah. I think where I felt the length a little bit, I was like two hours and 40 minutes in. I was like, damn, we still got more movie. But at the same time, I was like, give me more movie. <laughs> Half Dawn in theaters was good, too. That was my first introduction to that genre. Mm -hmm. like after yeah. RR, my bad. Yeah, I heard Pathan was really good. They've, they've been doing well with some Indian movies in theaters, and they've been like making 10 million or plus at the box office. That's really exciting. And then mm -hmm. there's been some Netflix ones that have not been very good, or at well, least. It's Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> they hop on the train and then ruin it, right? Yeah. All these horror fans in the chat. I love it. Yeah, man. Horror's huge. Somebody was like, wait, they're releasing a Ooh. horror movie in February? Yeah, they release horror movies every month now. <laughs> yeah, Halloween is all year long, basically, at this point. They all make I money. love it. Even bum ass imaginary is making money. Yeah, that's gonna be a franchise whether well, we want it or not. Nighthouse made money. Yeah. Nighthouse. Night Swim made money. <laughs> Nighthouse. Nighthouse Night is actually a good movie. Night yeah. Swim. <laughs> it's, I liked it, but it's not good. <laughs> We have another universe, the Blumhouse universe, Megan, Night Swim, Imaginary. Just all the inanimate objects becoming evil. Megan is great, though. Yeah, I like Megan. At least. I'm excited for 2.0. I like Megan. I'm, I'm excited for the second one, yeah. 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 I can't. Mm -hmm. I'm more excited because they pushed it from January to, like, I think it was like March May. or May of next year. Yeah. I think it's May, yeah. That means that this second one must be really good to get moved away from January to May, then. Mm -hmm. yeah, they probably have why the bully in the why the bully in the first movie have, have to be named Brandon though? Civil <laughs> 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 so War. He said, I'm, "I'm watching everything I can in Abel besides the Babysitter movie and that Sasquatch John." <laughs> Burt Body's like, "I'm not watching Sasquatch Sunset." <laughs> Wait, there's a you'll, Babysitter you'll, movie, or is that Challengers? He's referring to. He, I think he's talking about uh, Abigail. Maybe. Oh, Abigail. Oh, he's talking about okay. Challengers. Even there's a vampire on my ass. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm I'm excited to see that. I like the directors. They they made um they they made they made um scream freaking um yeah they made the last two scream movies which I really liked yeah. and then Ready or Not which I also really liked. Yeah. Yeah. Rich Miller yeah. gave off Ready or Not vibes. And then yeah. Scream got ruined. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm not supporting Seven. Yeah, I'm not supporting just, seven at all. I don't know how you're gonna bring back Patrick Dempsey when did did he die in two or was it three? I I can't remember. No, he he lived, um, he lived, and then it's implied in Scream Five that that uh him and uh Neff Campbell, Sidney Prescott are married. It's yeah, implied, right. uh, yeah, because uh when Dewey calls her, he's like, "How's Mark?" and that was his character, Detective Mark. Yeah, you're there. right. Well, they're gonna have to um, word that very well then because. Nice. Yeah, you know, it just seems like one big, not even one, like 20 steps backward because Scream 5 was very much the torch passing to the new characters. They were going to continue forward with that. Scream 7 was probably going to tie up everything with, with Sam and Tara Carpenter, um, you know, and, and, and then Spyglass basically nuked themselves by getting rid of yeah. Melissa, Melissa Barrera. Um, Jenna Ortega followed suit. The director abandoned ship. And and now this is their Hail Mary. Like, oh, let's give Neff Campbell back after like after basically uh isolating her because we didn't want to pay her. Um so they, and so I know they, they have to pay her a whole lot now, like even more. Oh, they came they pro they probably came crawling back to her doorstep. Like and, I said, they and then mm, sorry, sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm... And then and you know, they just announced like two days ago that uh Courtney Cox is back. So like this basically just undermines everything that they were um, building up to, and you know, essentially passing the torch in the in the in the fifth in the fifth movie. This just seems like like 10, 10 20 steps backward. Are, are the other two in the core four that we haven't heard about still in the movie? They haven't said they are. They said I think the two actors from the core four, uh, Mason Gooding, and then whatever the other actress who plays Mindy's name was. They said they haven't gotten any calls called. Calls back. So. Jasmine Brown. Uh, yeah. Jasmine Brown. Yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. I wonder if so they're going to they get can... Kirby back. 
Yeah, I was um I was I was happy she came back because I was I was bummed out that she had um quote unquote died in um in, in Scream Four. So when the, when you see in Scream Five technically that she survived, um because they hint at it when um Jack Quaid's character's watching YouTube videos like you see the little uh, like video in in the um like on, on his feed saying that um it was like an interview after she had after she had survived. Yeah. And then they brought her back for, for, for seven or six, I mean, which was awesome. I really liked um Ghostface Takes Manhattan, that's what I call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what it was. Yeah. yeah much I, better I much better movie than I thought. Everybody. They're gonna bring everybody yeah. back from the old movies, even people who died. And yeah, an Avengers level event. <laughs> yeah, they can they 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 can have it after how dirty they did Melissa Barrera. You know, um, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. <laughs> I was invested in her character, and now, like I'm, I don't care. I was, her. and you know, she, I was warming up to because you know I wasn't too fond of her in the fifth movie, and then I started warming up to her in the sixth, and yeah. then I started watching yeah. more movies. Yeah, then I started watching more movies with her, and I'm like. You know, she's like coming into her own as an as an actress. So I was looking forward to seeing more of her. She, you know, I, I think she hit her stride in six. Um, yeah. It's it's unfortunate, you know. They they were. I I, I think they had a really good thing going. And Spyglass, um, they 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 nuked themselves. Yeah, I think there's one person who person. won't take a pay cut. I don't think David yeah. Arquette's gonna come back. I don't think he'll <laughs> take the money if they offer it to him. I could yeah. be wrong, but he was pretty pissed when they killed him off. Like I was yeah, reading I, an interview, yeah. he started crying when he found out how he was gonna die. Oh man! Yeah, at the hands of like a ninety-pound girl. Yeah, like he was kind of upset. I'm like, you. Yeah. <laughs> she was yeah. pretty small. That was no Ronda yeah. Rousey. <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah, she was. Flick her through a wall. <laughs> oh, your boy kills the world. Looks dope. Yeah. Mm. Boy Kills, Kills World does look cool. Yeah. The new Alien. I haven't watched the trailer for that yet. Mm. Looks good. Looks looks very looks very um along the lines of the original. Yeah, I need to check out Winnie the Pooh too. Perk minded. Don't tell me you saw it already. We were just Perk, talking about. This. I'm already doing it tomorrow. And ugh. it doesn't even come uh, in Norway at all. I keep forgetting it's coming out so soon. I mean, for whatever reason, I thought it was coming out like later in the year. But yes. Mm. It probably comes out uh, in streaming because uh, the first movie came out like one month after the first one released in theaters for y'all. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you guys don't know about the Don't Tell the Mom. Oh, yeah. Don't Tell Mom Babysitter's Dead remake. I saw the trailer for that. It looks awful. The what now? Yeah. Yeah. They, um, the, they're, they're remaking Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Yeah. I myself, I didn't know about it until just a couple of weeks ago. Um, I yeah, it's 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 a hard pass. It's That's very much a hard pass. Yeah, yeah. Um, the original was from the '90s. Uh, Toby with I, I want to say like '91, '92. Christina Applegate was in it. Um, yeah, very very much very much an early '90s movie. <laughs> I can see that. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, they're remaking it for some reason. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna lump it in there with the uh, with the house party remake and the uh, white men can't jump <laughs> remake. Just house cast. Jesus, I don't know why they even hard cast. The white man can't jump remake too. Ugh. No, mm -hmm. no, no, I'm not watching Winnie the Pooh two or the first one. Yeah, she's not down. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna review the Winnie the Pooh movie very soon. I hear it's actually not that bad. I just saw that Gavin, friend of the channel. Has a review out, and the way his face looks is like it's not that bad. So, yeah, they did improve the masks. Yeah, yeah. I will that say that at least. A three-way movie. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. When men have three ways in movies, we don't do that to them. Don't do it to Zendaya. <laughs> exactly. Don't be a hypocrite. Uh, Winnie <laughs> Pooh is my childhood. I'm not gonna watch anything that turned into a horrible movie that I love as a cartoon. That's fair. Understandable. Yeah. Yeah. It's understandable. When they killed Boo in a bitch ass way, I was done. Damn. Dude, I got so mm -hmm. upset and I literally got mad the first time I saw that. Well, a little bit of a story time if you guys don't mind. 
Go ahead. Mm-hmm. When I went to go see, now this is bad, when I went to go see that movie in January, I had just come off one of the worst things possibly I can have happen to me. Mm-hmm. So I was looking for something to get, take my mind off of it. That did it! Dewey dying is what did it. I'm like, you son of a... I'm like, get up, Dewey. I'm like, get up! Mm-hmm. And then when he did it, I'm like, you sons up, You actually did it! I was the same way. Yeah, I was shocked that it happened in that moment. Because I was like, oh, everyone's mm-hmm. safe. <laughs> yeah. It was great until the last 15, 20 minutes. Killer's identity was pre- predictable for me, unfortunately. Okay. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, 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 that's for me. But I think it was just the way they played it out where everybody gets stabbed 17 times and just walking around. Mm-hmm. That's what killed it for me a little bit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I definitely understand that. Yeah. Yeah, um, like, Landon, you took the words out of my mouth about house party and don't tell mom. Yeah, it's just it's kind of like why you know, um, and and at this point in time, I don't really get or I try not to get terribly outraged about remakes, but you know, um, at the same time, it's like don't tell the mom the baby, like you know, like Roadhouse, I can I can I can work with that with a remake of that, you know, fine. Um, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead, you know, house party, um, white men can't jump, you know, it's it's like, why, you know? Um, you an interesting thing to do with it, it's not worth it. Yeah, it, yeah and, it, and, 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 they're, and they're not seeming to, that's the thing. Yeah. You know, um, like I said, I try not to get too outraged about remakes, but I'm I'm not um yeah I'm not one of those ones like oh it's ruining the original because the original's still there a remake's not going to magically um tarnish their quality or wipe it from existence so people who say that are kind of weird to me um but yeah it, it um don't tell mom the babysitter's dead is just it's just such a random out of left field thing to 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 remake. Um, I do. There is a conversation just, going on in the film community about like remaking bad films or mediocre films, and mm-hmm. that had good ideas and making them great. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's what they're trying to do. Because look, it, it might look bad in the trailer, and then when I watch the movie, it's like, wow, that trailer was just a bad trailer. Like that happens mm-hmm. sometimes. Where the trailer's awful, and then you watch the movie, and it's like, oh, this is actually really good. So, mm-hmm. Hopefully. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. He said the Taylor Kish movie when they're selling drugs as was a three way movie. I think it was called Savages. Yeah, I saw that in theaters Savages, too. Yeah. <laughs> I had a good time with it. Yeah, him and uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson were sharing Blake Lively. Yeah, I hated Screen Five. I will never watch it again. But I also didn't like Screen Four. Okay. It's like if they I'm not, I'm not, like, um, babysitting. No need for that. Then you're Wait. <laughs> Speaking of movies that are remakes, what do you think about remakes, and are there any you like more than the original, if you have any? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure. Some people's favorite movies are remakes, and they don't even know. Like, I'd like uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith remake better mm-hmm. than the original. Original. Toby, is everything okay? Look like a bomb went off in your room. <laughs> is Oppenheimer in your room, Toby? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, we can't hear you. Now he's muted. Oh, that's great. Uh, everything's going <laughs> great. Let's go. I'd say I'd say probably the Scarface remake, since that was a remake. The one with Al Pacino was a remake. Yeah. So yeah, probably that one. Yeah, there's a lot of remakes out there that's like better than the original and people don't even realize mm-hmm. it's real. Let me see. Best remakes. Let me see what they the list. Wonka? I think of any I've seen that have been remakes. Um, uh, I think um, Wonka would uh, consume as a prequel. Fair, mm-hmm. fair. Let's see, Dawn of the Dead. It's a great remake. Dawn of the Dead, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Carrie movie was okay. Uh, yeah. The Departed is a remake. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's a it's a remake of a. It's not a. I think it's a. Either a Japanese or Korean movie called Infernal Affairs. I might be wrong. Hmm. Yeah, um, but, but yeah, it's, it's a, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I hated the, the one with Keanu Reeves. I did not like the Keanu Reeves one. Jade, the Jaden Smith's character in that movie was just infuriating to me. Of and I don't even... And I, yeah, and I'm not even one of those guys that like minds Will Smith's kids at all. Like, I'm, but his character just just pissed me off. What was it, Keanu but Reeves it, one? Was it that Netflix movie or or? No, it came out a while ago. It came out like back in 2008, I want to say. Yep. Damn, you so good with dates. How like? Mm. <laughs> I literally clicked on this in 2008, and I'm like, how did this guy know this off the mm. top of his head? Oh, uh, the Crazies yeah. is a good remake. Ocean's Eleven's mm. a great remake. Ocean's Eleven's a really good remake. Yep. Yep. Um, mm. uh, Vanilla Sky. Sky. Last year. Oh. Okay. Vanilla Sky. Yeah, that's a. Re- mm. yeah, you know, um, I actually, I actually kind of, I'm, I'm not sure if I liked it more than the original, but I did like the the 2013, the 2013 Evil Dead. Yeah, someone mm. just brought that up. Yeah, so that's it. one Evil I haven't Dead's seen yet. I've seen all the all the Evil Dead's except for that one. Oh, that was man, a pretty good great. one. Oh man, yeah. you're not ready for that. Is the the glorious, <laughs> blood soaked of all of them. Oh, I've mm-hmm. seen a lot of gory movies. So yeah, but they ran out of they ran out of fake blood because of this movie. Like it was oh. a shortage of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm not even making that up and trying to exaggerate. That's literally happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. Give Adventures in Babysitting is respectful. Filmed in Chicago, the Kingpin is in it. Respect that film. Mm-hmm. I never seen it, so I can't disrespect it. You know, pretty good one. Actually, working on a video why I think Rob Zombie would be perfect for making a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Oh. Why? Ooh, I'm interested oh. to watch that. He would fit that a lot more than he did Halloween or or, or Monsters. Definitely. It's more of it's more of his alley. Don't yeah. get me started on that Halloween one. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I didn't mind the Rob Zombie Halloweens. I kind of liked parts of the first one. Um, the first one, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I, I I think he went wrong by trying to humanize Michael Myers. I I like the idea that Michael Myers yeah. versus Doctor Loomis sums it up. Perfectly in the first in the first movie, um, he was just purely in, he was an entity. He was purely and simply evil. I like that. I didn't need you know to hear that. Oh, he came from like a broken home and he wasn't taken trick or treating. I, I I like the idea that that he just was a evil. He just yeah yeah. That was that was Sometimes enough for me. It. Sometimes mm-hmm. people are just born evil. It's rare, but it mm-hmm. happens, and that's yeah. it's a movie. Yeah, it's just like. like Mm. Mm-hmm, go ahead. Sorry. A SWAT. That's a good call out for a remake. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like Would you call that a remake or an? It? Oh, I keep cutting you off. I'm sorry. I was just going to. I'm ask. sorry, buddy. <laughs> no, no, dude. I was just going to ask: Is SWAT a remake or an adaptation? Mm. Since it, I'm I'm just wondering. You know. That's a question. That's but, a question. Go ahead, Dave. I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll shut okay. up. No, you're all good. I was about to say, just like we don't need a Halloween TV show when we just rebooted the movies, mm-hmm. why are we getting a TV show, which is another reboot? Seriously. Whatever it's reason, like, they can't leave it alone. It doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, I agree. Re- remake the whole thing again. I would love that. You know, I think since the Chucky show ended up being such an unexpected mm-hmm. hit, yeah. that's going to be the next mm-hmm. big thing. You know, now 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 we're gonna get adaptations of four uh, villains in TV shows. It might um, be for like the old ones. That might be the space for them. I don't yes. think. I don't think the old school horror villains can survive on uh, mm-hmm. cinematic space anymore until they figure out how to do like a new fresh take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because we're also getting um a Jason show, right? That's like a that's Jason's what I heard. Mom. Like a Chris Willis show. I don't see anything in that though. I think that's twenty four is doing that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm really interested in, in that one. I heard some directors want to try to remake the original three Star Wars movies. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, what? I don't know about all that now. Yeah, that's screw not, that. I'm so tired of the past in Star Wars. I want to move forward. Let's not go back and do that. We're fine. <laughs> yeah. Just remaster the ones and put them back out in the theaters. Let's just do that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Did you know that there's a remake to The Shining? Yeah. Is yes, there? Yeah, it's a TV movie. It's a TV movie, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, was one one, yeah. Never mind, yeah. The yeah. Thing remake is, yeah, 1982 one. Yep. Is, it's a better movie. True. Mm-hmm. It's Captain Marvel 3, Eternals 2, Ant-Man 4 reportedly not happened. Obviously, this is a rumor. When uh, what when else MCU projects would you guys think can get scrapped? I think Ironheart will. Well, they already confirmed that Ironheart is not getting scrapped. It's in the editing booth right now, and they're mm-hmm. um editing it and putting the VFX and CGI and all that stuff in there. And they, they feel mm-hmm. confident in it. So that's not going. But um I can see Vision Quest getting cut since that they technically didn't Same. really officially announce that. Um, Nova, maybe Nova. Can mm-hmm. I see that getting cut? Because they didn't officially announce that. I could see Doctor Strange three getting cut. We've heard nothing of that yet. I don't yeah. think so, because the second one made nine hundred eighty nine million dollars. Oh, it did. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yes, uh-huh. I didn't it even know that. Made a villain. So I don't see them like it made way more than the first one. So I don't see them being like you know they'll just be like let's get a different director, let's get a different writer, mm-hmm. let's bring back Scott Derrickson and then just. Work with him, except I like the Sam Raimi version, so I don't know why I they did like, another. I did like the Raimi movie. I did like because I love Sam Raimi; he's one of my favorite directors. Um, I'd be good with with Scott Derrickson coming back, just because I think I kind of liked from a visual standpoint what he did a little bit more. I liked it was basically like a psychedelic acid trip of a movie, and you know the Raimi movie had its moments too, Multiverse of Madness. It was, but it was very, it was very much, it was very much um like a, it was kind of like Evil Dead, just repackaged as a as a strange movie. Not that I'm complaining yeah. at all, because I because I loved yeah. it for that. Yeah, um, didn't have part a of me, flare. yeah, um, part of me is kind of disappointed because they didn't really let Raimi go too too crazy. Because originally, when Scott Derrickson was doing Multiverse of Madness, he was basically saying it was going to be a horror movie. And then you had like Sam Raimi, who's like considered one of the greats in horror, and you don't really let him lean into that. Um, that was my only letdown with Multiverse of Madness. Um, you know, I was hoping for 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 that. So, I I wouldn't I I'd almost kind of say I'd prefer having Scott Derrickson back um, for for a third movie, just to finish that story off. Just to, yeah, bring it full circle. Um, no, again, no disrespect to Raimi; he's the man. Um, I think. Um, well, they already. I, I I was thinking they were gonna pull the plug on Wonder Man, and was kind of hoping they pull the plug on Wonder Man because I don't really think we need it. Um, but I, I heard that's um like in the editing stages too. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't want Wonder Man either, just because I feel like one, they're race changing the character, and I, I just, I just tired of hearing thumbnail warriors, and also, I just think because it's called Wonder Man, I can already hear the casuals. If this is supposed to be Wonder Woman's brother, Wonder Woman, yeah, why is he in the MCU? Yeah. Where's Gal Gadot? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I can hear one on that one for me. Because yeah. look at Black Adam the, with um um Hawkman. People are like, oh, mm-hmm. why do we need this character? We already have Falcon. What? Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <don't> <laughs> Man, I won't even say that. I'm not even that bad. And I'm like a super like, casual. Mm-hmm. This is like it's like saying, well, we are why, we have Batman. Why do we need Iron Man? Just because they're similar, yeah. don't mean they're the same. Oh. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'd say um, I I probably agree though with Vision Quest. It's just kind of come to a standstill, and I I kind of hope they they leave Vision alone. Um, you know, it's kind of like comic they had a couple years ago. If they adapted that properly, could make a great show. Mm-hmm. Really, he goes off by himself and has a family, and that's where we get Viz and stuff like that. Who's part of the Young Avengers? Mm-hmm. If they did that. Give Paul Bettany his due. He's a great actor. He never led a movie. He never led anything in MCU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Great actor. Oh, yeah. Texas Chainsaw Master 03 was crazy. Dude, that scared yeah. me as a kid when I saw that. I, I came out of my living room, right? And I saw the chainsaw. 
And I ran back in my room and I started like bawling, dude. It scared the crap out of me when, and I was nine. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on in here? Toby was like, I wasn't even a thought yet, but that movie's not scary. <laughs> Some years, but um, I have also a hot take with um, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. I do not like any of the movies. Oof. I don't think it's that big a hot take. I've heard that before, though. Fair yeah. enough, yeah. The Netflix one I'm was very... stupid. Oh, oh the, the Netflix one was awful. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very middle of the road when it comes to uh, to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think the first um, one was innovative, and people keep holding on to that, and that's why we mm-hmm. keep getting more. But they haven't innovated since the first one. Mm-hmm. I saw that whack ass Lords of Salem in the theater. I was pissed with Rob Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "Damn it, Rob!" Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd never pay money for any of his movies. Um, I, I, I saw the. Um, does he? I'm not yeah. sure. Like the Oculus thing, like the the headset. <laughs> this one. Are they, they, they have TV no, shows think, on that thing? Isn't that? No, the, no. Oh, what's the guy? Uh, made haunting in Hell House. No, that's right? he. He made Thanksgiving. Huh? No, yeah. but uh, the Oculus Mike Flanagan TV show. Mike yeah. Flanagan. Wasn't that the? Uh, wasn't that the? Uh, it's property Wayne. Oh, are you talking about haunting in Venice? So that's not my my plan again. That's um. No, no, no. Yeah, this Kenneth one. Uh, no, that's a movie. Never mind. I was talking about uh, Mike Flanagan having a Oculus movie. He had a movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. I forgot that was a movie. <laughs> that, that movie scared me. Oh, okay. uh, but I but I'm a little punk, so don't go watch it. Think it's gonna scare you. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Nothing to do, anyways. So. It's Matt Film Show says it's crazy to see how far you've grown, Zach. I remember when you hit 500, now 900. Mind blown. You're one of the best movie YouTubers besides Spoiler Kings. Oh, appreciate you. <laughs> oh. There you go. I hope we get Eternals too because I actually one of the few people who enjoyed it. I also am one of the few people that enjoyed it. Etty. Oh, I loved it. I really liked Eternals. Me too. I don't think I saw it. Go. Mm-hmm. Oh. I, I want to hear your opinion on it because it's very different MCU film. Like, very, very different. Yeah. And I think you, you were even on one of our streams, uh, Zach, when we talked about that. I I really liked Eternals. I liked how it kind of differed from a lot of the stuff that we were used to. It was very much, um, and I hate kind of throwing around this word, but, you know, if, if, if the shoe fits, you know, with Chloe Zhao directing it, it very was. Kind of like an art house film of sorts. It was Marvel's, it was the MCU's art house um, film. I liked, you know, that, you know, they went really, you know, I I like when they tackle more obscure characters. And I think you even used this phrase, so excuse me for borrowing this. Like it was like the history, I like the history lesson that it went with um, within the, within the, the MCU. And I'm kind of looking forward to them doing more with the, they have to do more with them. They they have to do more with them. You have a giant um, god sticking out of the planet because of them. There's no way they can just like we're just gonna ignore the Eternals forever and just have I mean, this thing. That yeah, they, they kind of have, yeah. have though. What happened with this? You know, like well, it yeah. was mentioned in She Hulk, and it's part of the Where? plot. For, uh, there's like a newspaper she reads that shows a picture of the the, the thing sticking out. Mm-hmm. Oh, I um, and I guess <laughs> she's like I missed that part. Uh, and then it's it's part of the plot for the Thunderbolts. So like, oh, they literally yeah. have to go there for something. So, but I mean, yeah. how plus, many years have it been? You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and and plus another thing I liked about Eternals, just as a comic fan, MCU fan, it it, it finally gave us a really badass speedster in the MCU. Oh, <laughs> she was so. Makari cool. was badass. Makari was badass. She definitely was badass. I was like, I love that. Like, she knew how to yeah, run. Like, like Ezra Miller. Mm-hmm. At least she didn't die yeah. in two seconds. That was great. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Five bullets. <laughs> Let me know if I stand corrected, but wasn't that the movie that everybody was divided about because of it was too agenda based? Yeah, is that the word they threw around yeah. a lot? So a lot of people were saying, "Oh, this is the woke movie." Blah blah blah. They got guys kissing, and there's a sex scene, and there's black people, and there's Asian people, and there's Irish people. Like, what? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> 
God. Who cares? exist in the real world. <laughs> this is nothing new. Yeah. What a just friggin' angry incels. Go get laid. The only thing that I will say is like I thought the sex scene was unnecessary because it was bad. Yeah, you you could you could remove that and it wouldn't made a it wouldn't made a bit of difference. It doesn't even change the movie. We already knew they loved yeah. each other. We didn't need that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I, I love that movie. I remember I remember leaving the theater with my friends and I was like, oh my, this was crazy, especially the last twenty yeah. minutes. And then I went online. Oh, I really and I was like, like it. this movie's trash. It's the worst MCU movie ever. MC was dead, and I was like, "What? We didn't watch the same movie." Yeah, I was <laughs> just like, I... I remember, um, like right after I left the movie, I like went to like a local bar and just like put on my Instagram, um, on my stories and on my regular Instagram, just saying the critics were wrong. The critics were so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> were you about to say that? But yeah, I really enjoyed Eternals. I I like the change of pace. And I and I and I like the I liked the the cast. Um, you know, I it's it's nice to, to talk to, to other people who, who also like that movie because I felt like I was. This become on. an Eternals uh, uh, AA meeting. Yeah. <laughs> I also like Eternals. I've been traumatized mm-hmm. by all the haters. <laughs> yeah, I like Eternals. Might even watch it after this. Speaking of which. <laughs> <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Dave, what were you about to say? Oh, that's how I felt about Doctor Strange too. Everybody's like, "Oh, this movie's trash. It's terrible. It ruined the MCU." Yeah, I'm like, it wasn't that bad. Like, it really wasn't. Seriously, maybe I'm new yeah. to this whole comic book genre, but it wasn't bad to me. So they never saw Catwoman. Yeah. That's why. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. I'm telling you, oh, like, they're big babies. It didn't yeah, go I mean, the way I wanted it, so it's bad. My source material not followed. Well, like, you can't oh, do man. everything source material, guys. Yeah. No, that's why we got that weird kiss between Cap and Sharon Carter in Civil War. Like that should have never happened. That just out of the blue, random. You know, almost yeah. zero build up between those characters. Exactly. It's like we have to do this because it's in the comics. No, 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 no. Let's cut that part. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's make them friends. It's awkward and it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been saying this for years. This is the only MCU problem there is. Each phase not ending with an Avengers movie like we used to do. Every phase ended with an Avengers movie. Wrap things up. It elevated the movies people who didn't like that much. People who was like, oh, this is watchable now because it ties into the next Avenger film and it built upon each other. But you go ending a phase with like Black Panther and then you're like, oh, okay, the next phase started. It's like, wait, this all feels like one long thing. Yeah. And that could have addressed mm-hmm. the internals issue. They could have, they just could have just introduced like a small villain that's not Kang for them to deal mm-hmm. with, or throw a variant of Kang that you don't need. Out yeah, I was yeah, looking forward to Kang money. now. Dang it! Well, the way Super Jonathan Majors is everywhere, he might be coming back. I feel like oh, it might happen. I'm, I'm clinging on to hope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I- 4,000 DVDs and 200 Blu-rays. Holy crap. Nice. Where do you have the space? <laughs> and money. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're ready for the end of the world with all that media on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You can never run out. <laughs> no. Hey, I said. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I'm, a, I'm my own streaming service. She's a streaming service. <laughs> 4,200 movies. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> There's streaming service right now that I don't even have half of that. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Also, Eternals may introduce one of the characters from Blade. Yeah, movie. Mm, That's true. Yeah. John Snow's character. Well, John Snow. Yeah. Kate Harrington. Kate. Kate Harrington. Kit Harrington. Kit Harrington. That post credit scene where you just hear Blade's voice. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I got excited. Yet, that movie's yeah. in development hell. Yeah. Development hell. May not even 26. see. I'm start, yeah, I'm. I'm starting to be like. I'm starting to be like. Mahershala Ali might not even be Blade anymore. The, yeah, like how old is this man? He's like fifty, which yeah, you know like, is fine. You know, he looks great. You know, for his age, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, because Robert Downey Jr. Like, was when he started MCU, so yeah, it's not like so young. So I'm fine with it. You know, um, 
I'd love to see Mahershal Ali as play just because he's that great an actor, and I'd be curious to see what he'd do with the role. But if they ever if they ever get it off the ground, <laughs> yeah, I never watched mm-hmm. Texas Chainsaw. Freddy, or even the guy with the hockey mask. This is how you know he's not a horror fan when he called him the guy with the hockey mask. That's hilarious. Mm. <laughs> he said, I hope we get our Eternals too as well. That's surprising because you hate that movie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and it what did you say? Like, <laughs> hey, the guy with the hockey mask. <laughs> Jason oh. Voorhees, or you call it Friday the 13th. I actually have a uh, hand from uh, friends. So find it. What the fuck? Uh, Fre- uh, Nightmare uh, Freddy. I'm tired. I'm like, nice. Yeah. <laughs> like Kenny said, there's never been a comic book accurate superhero movie. No, they all take liberties. Sure. Yeah. You know. Um, I, I I almost said Sin City, but that's not that's technically not a superhero movie. It's just a graphic novel movie. So that so that doesn't really count. So I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um. Yeah, that's a lot different. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, they they all take liberties, you know. They kind of have to. Yeah, yeah they they really do. Have ridiculous stuff in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Comics. If you read a comic, you're like, this is cool. But if you really think about just lifting the page and just doing it, it's like, whoa! Mm-hmm. What did you do to Captain mm-hmm. Marvel? Nah, we can't do that in live action. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this doesn't age well. You could you imagine them doing the Mandarin? <laughs> Oh, we can't hear you. <laughs> You're muted, Zach. Yeah. Oh. oh. Am I back? Yeah, yep. you're good. Ah, this is how I know it's now it's time for me to get off. My headphones died. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to wrap this up, guys. This was really, really fun. I appreciate everyone coming out for the 900 yeah. year celebration. I'm going to zoom you guys out so you guys can shout out your channels real quick because we still got people here. I am going to go mm-hmm. in alphabetical order. Spoiler King, here you go. Uh, Brandman Brandon with Spoiler Kings. Um, check us out every Monday and Thursday. And check us out on Instagram at Spoiler Kings Review. Thank you. I have Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 review dropping early Thursday, Godzilla X Kong Empire, and a very special Saturday documentary review. Come check me out. I'm on the Dave Show. So I'm Toby from and in Dark Movies with an X instead of A. It's confusing, I know. Um, and I, I'm trying to get my um, Ghostbuster review up. I've been uh, there's some yeah just stressful week and everything that I'm, I haven't been uh, posting a lot, but. Uh, but I have a lot of content up there, and I do also have basically every social media platform you can ever think of. So, with the same name, so check me out there if you want. And also check out when you go to his channel, check out his awesome uh, podcast he started with Jace Entertainment. Those guys are great yeah. together. Yeah, awesome. And you know me, I'm Zach. Zach Attack Reviews. If you're on this live stream, obviously you know me already. Hopefully you already subscribed. Now, don't be one of those 49% of people that watch my channel every week and don't subscribe. What are you doing? (laughs) And I want to thank everyone again coming out. Clay, how dare you come last minute? I'm leaving. (laughs) What is happening? No. (laughs) <laughs> it's about to be 11 o'clock. It's about to be four hours. I gotta go to sleep. Well, actually, I want to, yeah. I to go to sleep. I love you guys, both of you guys. Clay is a channel member. We're gonna be watching Godzilla, uh, X Kong, New Empire together on Friday. That should be fun. And uh, thank you for being proud of me as always. All you guys are awesome. All subscribe to each other and follow each other. Continue to make this community grow. And thank you for checking out all my... I just got out of the shower. Um, Thank you for checking out all my video games. I gotta go clean this up now. Uh, Yeah. Peace. Congratulations on the milestone, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. All right. Great job.